People, hello. Coming at you live from Miami, Florida. So nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. It's the day after a big uh, GPU announcement. So I'm expecting a ton of questions. I'm prepared. All right, music. Goodbye. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Lewis. I'm your host for today's live build for Curvy Llama. Uh, PJ's in the background there. You can't hear anything. But no worries. PJ can hear me. So we're all, we're all good here. Um, we have a lot to talk about. Just straight out the gate. We're doing a live build. So for those of you new here, I see Curvy's in chat. So hello. Uh, I give you mod powers. So... You're special for this stream. Um, we're going to talk about the specs of this build first. Although I do have to do point out a correction, even though after our doing a ton of tweaking. But let's go over it. This is a Corsair 220T RGB case. You can find it online uh, in our Neuron section of the website. The CPU is an Intel Core i9-9900K coming at 3.6 GHz with 8 cores, 5.0 turbo boost. CPU cooler is a Corsair H100i Platinum cooler with RGB lighting. It's the white one, if you're wondering. The motherboard is an Asus Prime Z390A motherboard. The RAM kit is not 32 gigabytes. Actually, it's 64, according to our little kit over here. But it is 32 me 3200 megahertz. The GPU is in an EVGA NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. And I will answer all of your questions because I know it's common. Don't worry, I'll, I'll get to that. A one terabyte Seagate FireCuda 510 NVMe M.2 SSD. And for the hard drive, a 12-terabyte Seagate Barracuda hard, uh, hard disk drive for ton of storage for videos, etc. And the power supply is a Corsair RM850X 80-plus gold power supply. Question number one. Why use a 20 ATI? Well, we've already been talking behind the scenes. The idea is to ideally in the future upgrade that to a 30-series GPU. Trust me, I know you're thinking the same thing. I asked the same question to you behind the scenes. I'm like, hold up. Yesterday, a bunch of stuff was dropped. Why are we going with the 20 ATI? We're going to... No, you're good. Um, why? There you go. You call me a noob? I'll come after you. Come on, let's do quick. I have it ready. Then we'll see who's the real noob. Anyways, the 30 series were just revealed. And we're going to talk about that real quick. Because... It's the hot stuff that everyone's talking about. Uh, you can see more information at originpc.com. And we have a little bit of information. Basically, you can sign up for um, our emails for the latest information on the 30 series. And when you can order your own Origin PC system with a 30 series GPU. So it's coming. Don't you worry. It's, it's coming. All right. PJ, can you talk? You there? Yep. Yes, he is. PJ's on the mic. I'm on the mic. Yo, yo, yo. Hold on, a little breathing there, a little breathing there, just keeping away from... Oh, all right, he's muted. <laughs> All right, so for the current specs, though, I think this is a very solid PC, and I know everyone's, like, talking about the 20 series. I was like, ah. 20 series is perfectly fine if you got it. It's just the 30 series is really, really exciting. All right, what do we got? What do we got here? So let me see here. So basically, now's the time for you to send me some questions before I start yabbering about our giveaways and stuff. But you guys don't want to hear about that. So, meh. I still think 20 Ti is a solid card. I know that... Uh, NVIDIA CEO went on yesterday and was claiming that the 2070 is just as good, if not better, than 2080 Ti. But I want to see the benchmarks, man. I'm very, for those of you that are new to the stream, I'm very skeptical until I actually see the physical benchmarks and see the data in front of me. Um, I always warn people to try to avoid getting hyped up about something. So just wait for the, the benchmarks to come out. Will you change from the 2080 Ti to the 3080? No. 
That's already locked in. We locked that in a while ago, so that's not going to move. Sorry. Anyways, it's a free PC. So if you're going to if you're going to play oh, what the 3080. I'm sorry. I apologize. Da, 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 da. My only question is the 30 series will work in the same PCI. It should. A lot I saw a lot of confusion yesterday about the PCIe slots. It, it'll work fine. So you should be fine. I like how we're using old school parts like the 2080 for this build. Such a throwback. I know, right? <laughs> Hashtag retro. If someone wins give or if someone if you win those who you went to, they get notified. I contact them via email. New international giveaway? No. Is the giveaway done? No. I see a lot of people asking about those giveaways. But let me let me do something here so you guys can stop asking for links on Facebook. Are you watching? Normally Facebook people like to write something here and say hello or be quiet. And to them I say no because I have to talk the entire time. Oh, there you go. Hey Facebook. Cool. Looks like a sweet sweet Rick. Thank you. I always try to make sure they're there. Is this the Elgato? No. This is not. This is a live stream. This is Patrick. <laughs> All right. I'll talk about our two giveaways in a bit. Peach is just doing some rewiring on the 220T from what it looks like it. We're here. Cool. Love you, Facebook fam. For those of you that don't know, we do stream on Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter. We stream on four platforms. We used to stream on Mixer. Rest in peace, Mixer. Um, so, so that's why I'm asking about Facebook. For those of you in Twitch chat, like, wonder why are you talking about Facebook? We stream on four platforms. Links to giveaway. Just be patient. Be patient. I'm doing something here on my end. So you guys, early, I see you're on YouTube, so I have to manually post it, but just stay tuned. Be patient. Mnemonics heading out. Boy, nice to see you around. The best piece of kit here is that Lazy Susan. Why not stream on Origins Headquarters Kitchen? That's a great idea, but... Honestly, the the way the angles would be, it's very cramped in the kitchen. And then people would be walking in and out. There'd be a lot of background noise, so I, I wouldn't do it. I feel like my broken record question for the day is, like, why are you building with a 20 ATI? I answered that in the beginning, but I'll just say it again. Um, that's going to be worked out behind the scenes for an upgrade to the 30 series. I know that Kirby's already in communication with our team. Um, to upgrade the GPU. So there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff, but for today's build, we're using the 20 Ti. Because guess what? We don't have the 30 series in hand. Do you want to pop, like, make it poof and come out of thin air? No, it's not going to happen. What is the cheapest? The best, cheapest PC. So cheapest is not a word that I like to use. <laughs> if you've been to our website, you probably already know. But since our PCs are custom built, we do have our RTS systems, which are pre you know pre configured, parts pre selected. But if you want the safest starting point, just reword it. I would check out the Neuron desktop. That's a good starting point to go from there. All right, give me a second here. I'm I'm writing something so I just don't have to post it over and over again, or I can just copy and paste it. We have two giveaways underway. International PC MR four million giveaway. What is today's stream meme? That's a good question, honestly. I, I can talk about the 30 series all I want now today. <laughs> I know some of you were poking fun at me last time about being able to talk about it, but now I can talk about it. So we're in the future now. Oh, on Pretzel Rocks, I'm going to need to chill. There you go. If you guys want any music. But I'm just, if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm just getting a, a post ready 
not a post, but basically um, the link's ready for you guys to quickly jump in and sign up for our giveaways. Uh, US only Intel Gamer Days giveaway. So we have two giveaways currently underway. I think this should be good. If not, I think I'm going to get sniped by Twitch. So give me a second. And then I'll talk about what PJ is doing right now. All right. The links are ready to go. All right. Hopefully that should be good. I'm going to send this to everyone. Bam. All right. Let me know if you get the those links. I know that I just posted it on Twitch chat. <laughs> PJ, what are you doing? What are you doing there, PJ? All right, I just sent links for our two giveaways currently underway. The first one I think a lot of people have seen already. So we're celebrating that our PC uh, Master Race over on Reddit has reached 4 million subscribers, which is pretty crazy for a subreddit. It's one of the biggest uh, PC communities on Reddit. And we teamed up with Corsair, Elgato, Scuff Gaming, LG, and of course the subreddit for this incredible giveaway. This is international. The link is in uh, chat, and I will be posting it on Facebook shortly and YouTube shortly. Twitter, I'm sorry. You're going to have to check our, our Twitter page for that one. Let me, give me a second. I'm jumping over to our YouTube stream. YouTube, you there? I see you're there. Let me mute that. Boom. All right, it's a little bit over. Give me a second here. So let me copy that, paste that, and paste that. All right, there you go. So YouTube's got it. And then Facebook. Sorry, everyone. Just making sure everyone gets the links before I get complaints. And jump over here to the, the Intel giveaway. So we also have an Intel Gamer Days giveaway underway. That is US only. And it's also for a really short time. We're actually ending that one on Sunday. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to do the winter announcement for this one. We might, just might just do email only. So give me a second here. Facebook. Oh, there you go. Cool. I already went through on Facebook. Awesome. Can't complain. All right. Cool. Let's go back to the build and see what PJ's up to. Hey, okay, do you want to put the camera up? Yeah, so there's a 64 gigabyte kit. I have on the specs sheet, it's a uh, 32. Actually, I'm gonna update that right now on our scrolly, scrolly power. Doing some quick edits. Do, do, do. 64. And that's 4.6, right, PJ? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. That's updated. And the US is not working for me. I would contact Sidekick support if you're able to see it or try a different device for the Intel giveaway. Should be working. I haven't heard any other complaints for that. So PJ just inserted the Corsair Dominator RAM onto the ASUS motherboard. There is the i9-9900K. I think that's the last time you'll see one of those for a while. Or ever. It's a good solid uh, CPU. I have the 9700K at home. It's awesome. What anti static measures is PJ taking for the build process? So, we do have. Uh, oh, oh he's, he's got something. He's going to talk. I hear stuff getting knocked over. So, that means. Uh, well, what is he doing? What is he, he's, you just sent him away. He's going to bring his giant jug of anti static juice. And it's going to be weird, but we're making it weird anyways. Um, if you guys are having any issues with the giveaways, please contact Psychic Support. They are the go-to for that. I can't do anything on my end. Sorry. I just can make everything put together. And if there's any issues on the actual app, you have to contact Sidekick. How do you feel about re people recently bought a 20 Ti when Vs just now... Uh, for, or at least GPs that are at least priced half less. I would be skeptical about that, that claim 
I'm always skeptical about almost any claim from any company. Um, and that's just me speaking personally, not in representing the company. Um, I think the 20 series are still solid uh, GPUs overall. I mean, do you want to go back to a 10 series? I think 20 series is pretty solid. Um, but if you were a recent purchaser of the 20 series, um, you might probably be interested in doing a return or doing a swap, maybe. I don't know. But I will say the demand for the 30 series is going to be excruciatingly high. So if you do try to get one, let's, let's say hypothetical scenario, you have a 2080 or 2080 Ti Super or 2080, 20 Super or 2080 Ti, awesome card. And then you try getting a 30 series. Let's go over the scenarios. Scenario one, you get the card, you replace the card, you're great. That's the ideal scenario. Scenario two, cards sell out immediately. And now you don't have a card anymore. And now it's very sad. Up oh, here's the jug. I knew he was going to bring the jug. So. Yeah, they all, I think he's just going to bring the jug every time. So we have this lotion for anti-static PJ uses. So you just, you know, zero charge hand lotion. There's a silence of the lambs joke here, but I'm not going to go for it. It's too easy. It's way too easy. As the NVIDIA uh, CEO mentioned yesterday, I feel like if you have a 10 series, though, those are the people that should definitely consider upgrading. Because if you have the 20 series, you have the RT cores, and you get a lot of the benefits that uh, NVIDIA is introducing in the next couple months. You can play Fortnite in RTX. You can play Minecraft in RTX. So... I know there's a, a some I was uh, browsing the Reddit's and uh, the socials and seeing uh, the general reaction of the 30 series and there were some buyers regret or lament, um, but I still think they got solid cards. I know people are a little bit more critical of the 20 series, but I think they're very good. I have one at home, so. I mean, if you're going for a 30 series, all I gotta say is good luck. Because <laughs> if you can get your hands on it, then lucky you. And also remember, this is the first gen or first version of these cards. So, you know, cross your fingers. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. I hope so. Um, I know all of us do. Um, the performance looks great. I know I'm not. Sh I'm sure many of you have seen. If you haven't seen it so already, if you're curious about the 30 series perform or 30 80 series performance, um, check out Digital Foundry's video on YouTube. Uh, they did, or Rich over uh, Ledbetter over in a Digital Foundry did an excellent overview. Um, with given the rules and the setup he had, but it's really cool to see the performance difference in uh, games from the 2080 to the 3080. How much is the 3080? It is 699 US dollars in the U in the US. And again, that is a Founders Edition. There are the um, AIBs, such as EVGA. Shout out to EVGA. Um, we're actually using EVGA card here today. Um, the prices may vary for our th uh, third-party graphics cards makers, EVGA being one of them. And I'm sure they'll have an... Actually, if they probably already have it up on their site. <laughs> Let me take a look. EVGA 30 series. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm curious. I have an article here. We're gonna jump to EVGA's website just to give some EVGA some love here, just to showcase. All right, so this is EVGA's uh, hey, 30 series. See it right there. We got some little RGB lighting there. So we're talking about the GPU. Oh, they have a video with their cooling. So EVGA has their own cooling mechanisms. And oh, there's the kingpin. That one is gonna. I don't know, for those of you that are familiar in the tech space, um, EVGA's Kingpin line is the best of the best in terms of graphics performance. So basically, it's pre-overclocked. It has its, like a 30, 360 radiator. Uh, it's liquid-cooled. It's insane. Um, there has the other. This is the Hydro Copper. That's the hybrid card. That's the FTW3. That's XC3. There's EVGA's cooling. And there you go. That's uh, EVGA's line. Just as a quick quick preview. Actually, no, that's 3090 and 3070. That RGB lighting on the FTW looks interesting. 
curious how it looks in, in the system. But very cool stuff. You can check it out on EVJ's website if you're curious. And for us at Forza PC, uh, we will be offering the cards at launch. Uh, so if you are interested in getting your own Orange Piece and Neuron, uh, Millennium, Genesis, Kronos, maybe. Um, I know our team is currently working on determining which cards work best on which systems. Because that, that 3090 is big. It is a big card. I'm s s pronouncing it B-E-E-G because it really is that big. When, uh... Hold on. Let me get the pronunciation right because I always somehow mess it up. Uh... Jensen. So when Jensen pulled out the GPU out of the oven and then he said BF GPU, I'm like... I'm a Doom person. I love Doom. So when he dropped that BFG reference, I was like, he is not kidding, dude. That is a giant card. And it definitely is more like a Titan. So if you're interested in Titans, then that means you should be looking at a 3090. Now that said, I'm NVIDIA being NVIDIA. Again, this is speculation. I'm back to speculating again. Now that these cards are out, I'm pretty sure that there's more stuff uh, down the pipeline. Again, speculation. But honestly, this this first three cards for the 30 series are very solid from what I've seen so far in terms of what they're claiming. Could be asking, if I were to buy a PC from you, is it possible to order a custom-made case design? So when you get a custom-made case, it's a little tricky because we don't fully modify the cases, but we do offer HD UV panels and laser etching. You can learn uh, about that on our website. Um, so laser etching, we have a machine in the back that actually lets us um, put anything honestly on the uh, panels and the HEV printing allows us to put any like any kind of image if you want a picture of your giant face on there like this you can do that as well so man all you clowns talking about the 28 Ti and how it's pathetic I need you to stop and think for a moment the 30 series was just announced yesterday if we magically make a 30 series card pop out of thin air and start building it today I would love to do that but we're building today with the 2080 Ti, and we've already talked about behind, or we're going to be talking behind the scenes on upgrading it to a 30 series. So calm your jets, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Please. I don't want to sound like a broken record today. I'm sorry I'm so grumpy. It's just I see these comments, and they're acting like the 2080 Ti is like already super outdated, and I'm That's like, so bro, come on, man. First time here, how hard is it to find the parts uh, for a PC and putting it together? Guess my biggest fear would be applying the thermal paste for the CPU. It's not too hard to find the parts. I guess if it's their available, um, availability being one of them. And honestly, the thermal paste you shouldn't be too worried about, especially if you get um, an all-in-one cooler, thermal paste will already be pre-applied. Um, and there's a ton of videos and guides on how to properly uh, apply thermal paste too. There's one video I would not recommend to you, but I'm not going to talk about that one today. <laughs> any promo codes? We don't have any promo codes on our website, but we do have our monthly special offers. And actually, we just updated our website to showcase our Labor Day special offers. Nice little segue to that. So we can offer up to 320 in value with select systems. Um, if you get a laptop with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 or 2080 graphics card, you get a $50 Visa reward card, ground shipping, free professional CPU overclocking with select Intel Core CPUs, a whole bunch of digital games, and more. And if you get a desktop, you get free US ground shipping, free professional overclocking, and a more. Again, you can learn all about that stuff at originpc.com slash promotion. All right, that's, that's it for the shameful plug. Shameless plug, etc. Laptop CPU overclocking, how does that work? It's totally possible. Uh, we do sell some laptops with desktop processors. Um, that free uh, laptop CPU overclocking is only available for Intel um, based laptops. I know we have our Eon 15 x which is an AMD based card or AMD based um, system, but the it's only Intel 
they get the free CPU overclocking. Only some of them support it though. Like the super thin one, uh, the Evos, I don't think support it if I'm correct. Let me check really quick, really here. I have the website, I can verify that myself. Um, let me check the Evo, I don't think, yeah, no. Yeah, so the Evo doesn't support it and let me check the 17S. But I know the Eon does, the Eon 17X does, just to confirm. Professional, yeah, no. Just checked it. So the Evos, no, but laptop, or Eon, yes. Actually, I'm gonna send a message over here real quick. Let me check something really quick over here. It's the first time I've ever heard of laptop CPU overclocking. It is possible, um, specifically on our Eon line, because it's a desktop CPU. All right, all right. All right, I saw a couple questions. Let me get to those real quick. What am I looking for here? Let me catch up. Am I Brazilian? No, I was born in the US. My parents are Colombian. Can 3090 run uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 8K 60 FPS? You gotta wait till the benchmarks, man. I can't speculate on that. Is it gonna be able to run the game flawlessly? I'm pretty sure. Now 8K 60 FPS, I don't know, man. Um. I don't know if I know there's very few monitors that are actually 8K 60 FPS. That, that's I'm here thinking 4K in videos talking about 8K. I'm like, hold on, man. <laughs> Give you a moment. Uh, da, 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 da. John, I built a uh, my daughter a PC using Ryzen 3 30 with Vega 8 graphics. She's not happy because it's faster than Xbox. What are the match or beat Xbox price? So if you're trying to make something that's like better than an Xbox, I would recommend. Uh, not using integrated graphics, uh, probably consider 81660 Ti, or again, maybe check out the prices on the 20 series. Um, I know price GPU price fluctuations are going to be happening soon, so keep an eye on that one. I know AMD just announced the 5300 XT, um, so if you want to check out that, um, the CPU I think is fine, but the graphics, I think you can just add a graphics card. Once you add in a graphics card, pff, that system's going to be flying. Da, da, da. I'm not very familiar with building PCs. Did he screw the motherboard into the case before installing the CPU? You can do it both ways. The way PJ prefers to do it, to install the CPU first, and then uh, screwing the motherboard onto the system. Everyone's saying the 28 Ti is old. The 30 series came out yesterday. I'm telling you, man. I'm warning you. If for those who are getting the card, I've warned my friends. I've warned everyone. Good luck. GPU demand is going to be through the roof because ba yesterday was basically called to action to not just the entire PC gaming community, but anyone that owns a 10 series card. This is like their their heads. Like, imagine like a bunch of meerkats or like uh, moles is kind of hiding. Or like Groundhog Day, right? And then all of a sudden he says 30 series. And then when he said Pascal users, it's time to upgrade. Everyone goes like, upgrade. So you're going to be competing with a lot of people trying to get those cards. Um, if you really 100% for sure want to lock that card in, um, I would consider maybe like having a bunch of tabs open and just keep an eye on everything. It's going to be hard. I'm warning you. I mean, unless somehow NVIDIA has a ton of stock. Again, I have no idea. This is all speculation. Be careful. So, where do you think the best place will be to buy the new cards? Uh, there's a ton of retailers that sell it. Um, if you're fortunate enough to actually go to a store and pick one up, maybe consider that option. But again, be safe, take yourself, wear a mask, etc. Um, but NVIDIA will be selling it on their website. And we're going to be selling it, uh, not the card itself, but we will be selling desktops with the GPUs on our site as well at launch. So that's a guarantee. So if you want to, you know, if you're not going to build it yourself and you're interested in getting a PC with a 30 series, we're going to be carrying it. Started a few days ago from Origin World 12 Core, Ryzen, and 2080 Super. Do 4K gaming easily. Hmm. 
Hmm. Jack, I might you might want to reach out to your sales rep to see if there's anything you can do to possibly replace the 2080 Super. I think you can do 4K. But that said, the 30 series cards might be something you might want to consider. That's it. That's a solid system. The thing is, some games might not be able to go with 4K. So if you're thinking Cyberpunk 4K, that's going to be a little tricky. You have to lower the settings most likely. Um, but for sure, lock, again, If once we see the benchmarks, the 30 series should ideally be able to handle that. Specifically 3080 and up. Do I need a new motherboard for 30 series? No. Unless you have a really old motherboard? No. Actually, even a really old motherboard could carry. It's more of bottlenecking, but you're fine. Da, 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 da. Still catching up with the comments, so I'm just, I'm making sure I'm answering as many questions as possible. Da, 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 da. What up, llamas? I wonder if we have people. I see we have a a decent chunk of people watching. So howdy, everyone. I'm just trying to answer questions while PJ's here, tinkering away, getting the PSU right. What are you doing? What are you? Hey, 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 hey. It's a package, and the, there's a power supply in there. Take We're care of it. He's trying to be a ninja. What do you think about this discontinuation of the 20 series? Uh, so, this is our business movie. So, 20 series is going to stick around for a while. I want to say a while, possibly till 2021 ish. Um, but it's typical in any GPU cycle. You're going to have both of them at the same time, and then all of a sudden, boom, they disappear. Um, so, like I mentioned earlier, price fluctuations are going to be a thing. Because um, maybe you don't have enough. Uh, funding for the 30 series so you're probably considering the 20 series 20 series cards are solid i i have one at home it's great um i, th I still think it's gonna be better than the graphics that the consoles are gonna have by a long shot um so just keep an eye on that that's gonna be, now we're in that weird phase this happens in every gpu cycle that when the new cards are announced the prices of the previous gen are gonna go like up and down up and down up and down it's kind of like stonks but not as crazy, I guess, but it'll still be a little crazy. What is integrated graphics? So some CPUs offer what's called integrated graphics. So the CPU, not the, there's no GPU. Basically, the CPU, Intel and AMD both have this, have graphics on board the CPU. So you don't have, you just plug in directly to the motherboard. You need a uh, GPU. Granted, those graphics are not the greatest. They get barely the job done. I think personally, I, I love having graphics card on computer. Um, but I can see the benefit of just going with a single just a C GPU with integrated graphics. Now, if you want to play games, I always recommend a GPU. There's just no way. I like, I'm, It's 2020, man. You got to have a GPU. I know that you can try to go with the cheap path and go with like integrated graphics, but I'm sorry. If you want to say competitive in multiplayer games, you got to have a good GPU or at least a decent uh, GPU, even like a starting $200 GPU or any, something. Why is everyone obsessed with 4K and 8K? There's absolutely nothing wrong with 1080p, and you can get away with more than 60 FPS uh, without a god PC. I'm I'm interested with that question as well because I feel that there's actually more of a pursuit to get a higher refresh rate on the monitor. Um, I feel like resolution number one developers I don't even think are maybe they are ready for 8K <laughs> resolutions. Um, I know that in the demo that Nvidia was showcasing to uh, the streamers and industry people in that video they showcase with like Adam Sessler and Tim Geddes. Um, they were showcasing Control and Wolfenstein Youngblood with ray tracing and AK, which sounds crazy to me. I need to see that in person to actually believe it. Um, I'm surprised those games even support AK <laughs> to begin with. So it must be, they must have done something behind the scenes, but developers do have to support it. I think Flight Sim does support AK too, but that's a whole nother thing. Uh, t -t -t PJ is Kratos. Boar. A 3090 build? I bet you they're coming in the future. That, I'm looking forward to the 30 series builds coming up uh, most likely in October, I'm going to predict. Um, so just stay tuned to those. Did I get any messages? No. All right, cool. 1080p is for competitive gaming. I see people moving more to 1440p, though. I don't know. Sorry, I'm behind questions. I'm just kind of like making sure I read everyone's comments here. 
I'm just going to buy my card from Wish. Do not do that. I highly recommend you do not do that. No, don't do it. Do not. Do gaming laptops get worse the more you use them? Mine used to run GTA good graphics with 60 FPS, but now it runs at the lowest graphics and still gets RAM spikes of low FPS. So two things are happening. Number one, uh, your laptop could potentially be getting dust inside. So you, I'm not, if you're comfortable with it, consider opening up and doing a nice uh, cleaning. If you're not, uh, the other thing that could be happening is the fact that games are getting more demanding over time. Because GTA is a good example. They add more stuff to GTA. So sometimes there's more stuff added and they might tweak some stuff. Actually, GTA is going to be subject to a massive graphics overhaul next year um, with the next-gen update. So we'll see how that happens. Um, I know I've seen that with my laptop. Um, performance does deteriorate, um, but not as crazy. Stop pointing at me. Stop. Hey, 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 hey. He's pulling up the 12 terabyte hard drive. Actually, that leads to a good segue to talk about uh, SSD stuff. One of the most exciting announcements from yesterday was the fact that NVIDIA has worked with Microsoft to implement um, super fast SSD data retrieval, which is insane. It's called RTX IO. Um, if you didn't watch the stream yesterday, basically, it uses, normally your CPU is what's used to access the files on your SSD. That requires a lot of processes, but NVIDIA and Microsoft have found a way to use the GPU to access your SSD and reduce, or it uses less processing power and it's significantly faster than using the CPU. Let me see if I can find a chart. I'll pull it up soon enough. But let me catch up with the questions here. Do you think 3000 series will be compatible with PCI Gen 3? Don't worry about it. I know there's a lot of people scared about that. You're fine. <laughs> I'm surprised at how much like confusion is there around that. PCI 3 is fine. You're fine. R5 3600X bottlenecks at 3070? No. That's a solid GP, uh, CPU. You're fine. Waiting for everybody to do a build. Blah, 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 blah. Going 100% going with 3080. What motherboard should I be looking at? Um, motherboard, check the CPUs, though. Um, I know that Intel just released their 10th gen, and then AMD currently has the 3rd gen out. But you never know. Stuff might come out in the future. I don't know. I just completely speculation. Just keep in check with the CPU industry or what's new there. Da, 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 da. Yeah, dust buildup. I was talking about that. Did the red giveaway finish? No, that's still until the 20th. Will there ever be a discount? So we don't do, I mean, sometimes we do discounts on our uh, systems, um, but the majority of the time we usually try to make the value more attractive, such as including a gift card, a bunch of digital game bundles, free US ground shipping, um, and bonuses such as free CPU overclocking. Um, those add up, especially the game bundles. So that's what we do here at Origin. Is the contest open to Canada? So uh, the PC Master Race one is open internationally, except for countries it's illegal to do that. So or, and regions. So Quebec, you're using Canada. Quebec is never allowed to enter any of our giveaways. I'm sorry, uh, Quebec citizens. That's just the way it is. I apologize. Don't blame us. It's not our fault. I wish I got my CPU a or a, my PC a liquid cooler. You can always do that. There's really no shame in you know doing some tweaks and removing stuff that's one of the coolest thing about the pc platform is you can upgrade it yourself so even if you buy a pre-built right so unless that pre-built's not that good <laughs> i've seen some pretty scary pre-built's not pointing any names but you know me? no not yet I'm, I'm talking about like other companies but i'm not naming names to be polite 1440p high refresh rate is the sweet zone i know right What's a good and cheap processor without bottlenecking Galax RTX 2060? Honestly, if you go with an i5 or Ryzen 5, you're good. If you're concerned about prices. Uh, I wouldn't go with a 3 or i3 or uh, Ryzen 3, personally. Let's go with a 5 and up. If you want to be secure, i7. Spend a little extra money, get the i7 or uh, Ryzen 7. What's the status of uh, power supply prices now? Are they still higher than normal? Many will need to upgrade to 70. Oh, that's another thing. Power supply. Um, now I'm going to go into a segue about power supplies. <laughs> For months, 
I have been preaching and warning you guys to go with the 750 watt power supply. Or higher. And who, and, or higher. And who was right? Me. <laughs> Sorry to toot my own horn, but it's true. I, 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 strongly, I saw this coming um, as someone that kept an eye on the power requirements for the 20 series. I'm like, if the 20 series is going to require this much power, the next generation of graphics cards is going to require a lot of power. So 70, 70, 750 watt and up. And then, so not only are you competing for the graphics card, you're going to be competing for power supplies. So good luck. It's going to be interesting. Well, if you get an Origin PC, we do have 750 watt power supplies and higher. We have the 1,000 watts too. So OriginPC.com. <laughs> What else we got here? Let me catch up. Hey, Lewis, how's it going? Oh, up and see how's it going? I'm going great. It's answering a ton of questions. 3090 is a huge GPU. You're going to need a big tower. I I know that uh, if you do the measurements, because NVIDIA has the measurements on their site, you can kind of get an idea. And then also remember that the third parties are going to be, such as EVGA, are going to be making their own 3090s as well. Because I've seen some 3090s that are a little bit thinner, the one NVIDIA showcased. Um, so just keep an eye out for those third parties if it's 30, the 39 Founders Edition is too big for you. Have you tried to create something like Beehive design air cooler concept to bring in the desktop to reduce space? Let me look up the Beehive. I've heard about it, but I've never seen it. Uh, PC. Hmm. I mean... Eh, we typically go with uh, all-in-one coolers at Origin because it's pretty space-saving. Um, I've never really, I don't, I don't think the team would be messing with that anytime soon. Da -da -da -da. What are the motherboard brands that Origin trusts? Actually, you can see that on our website. Um, so when we do our testing. Not to give too many details away, but our team basically takes in a whole bunch of motherboards, does a ton of tests on, and they pick the ones that they think are the best in their opinions and analyses. Um, so if you go, for example, to our Neuron page, you'll see that we offer the MSI Z490 motherboard, MSI, MSI ASUS. Yeah, so we have MSI and ASUS on our website for the Neuron. But I know if you go to like the pro side, we offer other motherboard types as well. Do you think NVIDIA will limit the amount of GPUs one can buy? Yes, they absolutely will. I'm telling you, it's going to be crazy when the, uh, it's September 17th and you're trying to get your own personal GPU. Um, and I'm also, I, honestly, I've, I'm warning you guys. I've seen this happen, even with the 20 series. I've seen it happen. It will get crazy. You need to be ready for that. Like, I don't know. It sounds crazy, but I'm not sure if you're familiar with, like, concerts. You know, we used to have concerts. That was cool. Um, so whenever concert tickets would come out, I would sometimes like go into battle mode. It's like, all right, it's concert sale time. I have my phone up and I'll be ready to go, got the desktop up and then it's like, make sure to grab the good tickets. Um, or even Black Friday sales sometimes, like when the Black Friday sales deals pop up on the website, make sure you're first to get the good deals. Um, it's going to be a war. I'm warning you. And I wish you all luck if you're pursuing it from NVIDIA's website or any other website. When is a good time to build a PC? Anytime. Um, I will say during the Black Friday timeline, prices of hardware will be going down. I'm interested to see how the 20 series is going to be uh, priced around the Black Friday time frame. And a lot of you are knocking the 20 series, man, but there's a lot of people out there that would not mind having a 20 series GPU. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, man, you guys, some of you are a little bit elitist. I'm calling it out. I'm speaking the truth, man. 20 series cards are still very good. Imagine if you're someone running a... 660 Ti, and you're like, man, I got up to the GPU, but I don't spend too much money. 20 series is still a massive upgrade. I'm just telling you, man. All right, let me see here. Da, 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 da. I spent a little over 1K on my PC. Do you think I still get the good specs and run most games on high settings, right? In 6300 MSI 1660, you'll be fine. I think the 1660 is a solid GPU. Um, now, it depends on the kind of game you're playing. Uh, remember, most AAA games are going to be pretty demanding. I know Avengers, uh, which is coming out this week, or it came out yesterday, the early 
Access release, but it's coming out on Friday officially for everyone else. Um, that game is really demanding. I played the beta a couple weeks ago, and I was surprised. I was like, whoa, this game is pushing the system. So note that those like GPU-pushing games might require you to tweak the settings a little bit, but I think it'll be fine. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Chris, yeah, I noticed that too. I don't know why people are freaking out over PCIe 3.0 and 4.0. I don't know what started that. It was really weird. I'm like, why is everyone freaking out? And they did their testing with the 10 900K. Like, what's going on? I don't know. Um, someone had to have started something and I just kind of snowball and I see a bunch of people not terrified. Of that. If you have PCIe 3.0, you're fine. End of story. That, that, that's that's it. I'm, I'm just laying it all out. You got PCI 3, you're good. Don't worry about it. What is the best resource to find info on motherboards? There's a ton of stuff online. Um, there's a couple websites out there. A PC part picker is pretty good. Um, and also just reading reviews in general. But remember, when you get the motherboard, you also have to factor in the CPU you're picking up as well. Um, I always warn pe or tell people is to pick your CPU first. Once you pick your CPU, then you can pick your motherboard. Because the thing is, it's like an, uh, a pyramid almost, right? So you pick one thing, or you have your, your levels, right? So let's say you have your choice of an Intel Core i5, Intel Core i7, or i9, and you're like, you know what? Let me go with the i or the i7 9700K. Now you need to pick a motherboard. Now there's more motherboards under that bracket that you need to pick. Um, so again, like I said, there's websites out there that can help you... Uh, pick out some stuff if you go to um like even the pc uh, master race subreddit there's a bunch of like guides there on the sidebar that can help you get started on that so the thing is i warn people about messing with older motherboards because there's limitations you can only go so far with them um, unfortunately i know it, it sucks because i have an old motherboard on my old pc and i've pushed that one to like the limit like i can't push it anymore man i'm like this is it this is it the end of the road anything further i'd have to make a new pc but um that's on my second travel pc which is not really traveling that often anymore <laughs> oh some people from some llamas in the chat i see you guys with your emotes i appreciate it all right, let me see. I'm ca man, you guys are coming in hot with those questions, man. How much is this build? I'm going to estimate it. Do I have any data? I do not. I can try to spec it out on our website and give you that, but I want to try to catch up with the questions. How can I learn how to build a PC? Um, okay. Linus, Jay's Two Cents, um, Bitwit, uh, Paul's Hardware, and a whole bunch of other people that I'm, uh, Gamers Nexus, they have a ton of resources on YouTube. Uh, they're trusted sources. People have massive subscriber counts. Linus tends to drop stuff, <laughs> make poking fun at them. But uh, they have a ton of resources on, the, on their YouTube channels on building a PC. All right, just watching our stream. I mean, uh, actually, we did a stream a couple weeks ago showcasing how to build a PC uh, step by step. If you want to watch that one, that was um, aimed at the uh, Corsair intern program which is pretty fun i even wore a nice shirt today i'm just wearing a t-shirt so i wore a nice shirt i did man for that stream i wore a nice shirt oh uh, here comes pj with uh, the banter i'm not saying any banter it's a nice shirt man it's a nice shirt all right i'm gonna mute you bye pj bye lewis I currently have a thousand watt. Should I be okay not talking? You're good. You got a thousand watt. You're good. All right. I'm scrolling through. I'm catching up. I think our tower coolers. Ah, tower coolers. There is an SSD in the system. It's on the motherboard. PJ, I don't know if you want to point it out real yeah, quick. Really I'm taking a serious look at the EVGA 3080 FTW 3 models, really catching my eye. I think EVGA makes solid GPUs. I know we've used them here on streams. Um, I'm interested to see their benchmarks. And then remember, everyone has different cooling solutions, and EVGA is pretty solid. And their support's pretty nice, too. 
My question about the 39, will the motherboards be able to lift all that weight or will they bend? That's a good question. Um, I know there's concerns about that weight. Um, there's some people on Amazon that sell uh, essentially what like GPU holders are kind of shaped like an L. Um, I have one in my case and I just have a 2080 uh, Founders Edition. I still like it. It makes the card look straight. My OCD is cooled. <laughs> by doing that but i think the cart the nvidia does testing your motherboard will be fine um unless something happens when the launch happens that i don't know but i'm pretty sure it should be fine let me see what we got do, 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 do. man you guys are definitely pummeling with the questions i'm doing my best to try to pick up all the ones i got um again if i miss your question just ask it again it's going to catch up real quick. I have a 1060. I would love a 20 series. See? Point proven. All right. 20 series to go down? We'll see. Again, nothing's official yet. Because remember, those 30 series cards are most likely going to sell out. And you know what happens when they sell out? The prices are in the 20 series might actually even go up. I know that sounds crazy. Just stick with me. It sometimes happens. I've seen it. <laughs> Got my 20 Ti from Asus and the OC to Minnesota. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, you're good. Yeah, no, you're fine. I know people are knocking the 20 Ti. Do you have a 20 Ti? If you do, you're you're the only people that can knock a 20 Ti are the ones that own it. <laughs> in my opinion. I don't think people know Intel doesn't support Gen 4 yet. I think some people do, but you're right. It's not really a popular or knowledgeable thing. But PCI uh, 4.0, don't worry about it. That's honestly more important with Ryzen and SSDs right now. GPUs are not impacted at all by that yet, but you should be fine. Catching up here. Da, 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 da. If you were going to build a gaming rig around the 3080, what CPU would you use? Um, personally? Hmm. Made a 10th gen Intel Core i7, so the 10700K maybe, and then for the Ryzen, probably a 3700X, personally. Um, but if you can get your hands on a cheap uh, 9th gen, I wouldn't mind going with the 9th gen, e 9th gen either. I was actually just checking the i9-9900K, the price is actually uh, decreased, so that's actually a pretty decent CPU for the price point. So... Again, if you care about that sort of stuff, just know that the prices are kind of going crazy. But if you want to for sure, like, be secure with your system, uh, go with the 7s and up. It's a Ryzen 7 or i7, Intel Core i7. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Shouldn't the AIO tubes be down? PJ knows what he's doing. You can go any way, any direction. Um, PJ just does it this way. I also remember the GPUs can, would be blocking it if you go in the down path. So, do you think the 3000 series is overhyped? That's a good question. It depends who you ask. I'm skeptical. I love new hardware just as much as any other uh, PC person, but I'm always gonna be skeptical until I see the benchmarks myself. A digital foundries video gave me a little bit of like a an insight on how the 3080 is going to be performing in comparison to the 2080. Um, and it's pretty cool to see a performance boost in games like Control and Doom and um, what was another one, Tomb Raider, uh, Borderlands, in, the, in that video. But what happens sometimes is people get super hyped up and then the GPUs go crazy. Um, but it, it's tricky personally. I'm not a type, but I can see that there's a general like excitement behind these 30 series cards. So, Master Hand, I think I should upgrade to a 3070 then. My 2060 kind of struggles with some games at 1440p. I would consider it, but note, keep your 2060. Because if you try to get that 3070 and you find that it's sold out and you don't have a GPU, that's not a good situation to be in. I've seen some horror stories before, trust me. Um, keep your G GPU until you get you secure the the bag. <laughs> don't don't uh like do a trade and next thing you know you don't have a GPU. How long does it take to make a PC? It depends on your skill level. Um, if your experience like PJ can take uh 
from one hour to three hours, depending on the complexity of the build. If you're not experienced, it might take you multiple days. I mean, look at our uh, good old Witcher slash Superman, Henry Cavill. Uh, it took him a process of for two days to build the PC. Me, personally, it took me about uh, two days as well, too. I split it. Like, I got a good... Ch or I put in all the parts in one night, and then the following night, I did all the wiring. All right. Continuing to catch up. Man, I'm behind. I'm, I'm six minutes behind. I'm catching up, guys. Don't worry. I'm coming. How much power does the 3000 series draw? Is a 650 watt enough? Um, according to the specs list, the 3070 works with a 650 watt power supply. They claim that the 3080 and the 3090 require a 750 watt power supply. Now, is that true? We don't know. We won't know until officially the cards come in. But it is safe to go with Nvidia's recommendation. I know people online might say like, "Oh, I could probably run a 3090 or 3080 with a 650 watt." Be careful. I'm warning you. Be careful. You don't want to mess up your system. Go with Nvidia's recommendation. So if you're if you have a 650 watt power supply, go with a 3070 if that's what you want. However, you're probably going to need to upgrade your power supply if um, you want the 3080 or up. i7 7700K with 3070K, you're fine, dude. That's uh, that's still a good CPU. Don't worry about the bottlenecks. Honestly, the people that should be worried are the ones in the fourth gen. I'm already seeing some games have trouble with fourth gen, uh, Intel Intel Core fourth gens, um, especially with uh, games. Actually, a friend of mine uh, was having issues in Warzone uh, with a fourth gen CPU. So it might be time for him to upgrade, but you know, don't you didn't hear it from me. RJ Reddish says the 3090 will have an extra support bracket sold with it. Oh, nice, cool. I didn't see that in the data, but that's nice. And actually, another thing uh, I know Linus pointed out on his uh, Twitter account is the new 12-pin uh, uh, power supply adapter. I'm not a fan either, but I get it. And the reason they designed it that way is because that way you can get more power to the GPU. That's the the explanation. Um, they will be providing adapters. I know if you get Origin or if you get an Origin PC with a 30 series, we'll have the adapter and we'll have it properly set up. But I'm hoping that uh, power supply people, Corsair, hey Corsair, can you can you make some cables? <laughs> It'd be really cool to have a cable that does that already, but we'll see. We will see. Should get an HD or storage or SSD the way to go. SSD. SSD, SSD, SSD. Unless you work with media. If you work with videos and you work with photos, get an HDD, especially work with a lot of that. If you're playing games, SSD. I don't care. Save the money. Get an SSD. Um, WoW actually uh, made an announcement for the specs for Shadowlands. They recommend, even in the min spec, from my understanding, actually let me confirm that, uh, players should have an SSD with at least 100 gigabytes to play WoW. And I'm glad because developers, I, I feel, are being held back by conforming to hard drives when they should be developing for SSDs. Um, let me confirm that. I'm checking WoW's uh, specs here. Da, 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 da. System requirements. Yeah, even the minimum requirements, they do say for a solid state drive or hard drive. But the SSD is the way to go. I'm sorry, that's just the feature. And the thing is, uh, Flight Simulator even also recommends that you try to install the game on an SSD as well for faster performance. I see that. See, I like that post. That, that one's funny. You're not using RTX 3090 and SLI in this build. <laughs> that was good. I like that one. That's a good one. Who will launch with an RGB 30 series? I know uh, EVGA, uh, their FTW3 card has uh, RGB lighting. All right. Oh, man. Every time I catch up, it just more questions keep coming. Sorry, guys. All right. What's the best way to try to get a 3070 when it comes out? You got to have all the tabs open. Just follow your feeds, man. I'm pretty sure there's places you keep tabs on Reddit and uh, have your credit card ready. Make sure you have your pricing, all that information good to go. Um, just make sure you're on top of the retailers that would most are most likely going to list the card on their site. Um, again, that's if you're pursuing the card by itself. If you want a PC with the card, Origin PC, we got gotcha. you. Although I will say that it's going to probably be really crazy that day, and we're probably going to get a ton of orders. So 
first come, first serve. It's what I'm going to say. Where do you think the best place to try to get a 3080? It's going to be online. Most likely online is going to be the way to go. If I would be shocked if stores carry it. I know that there's uh, other stores across the country. I know here down in Florida we have uh, some retail stores, but I'd be shocked if stores carry it in, in, or stores carry it. If they do, awesome. Great. Our Intel fan is good enough to cool an i9-10900. I would recommend a better CPU cooler. That's a pretty hot CPU. I'd recommend an uh, all-in-one or a, a decent heatsink. 3080 will be fine on an X470 board. It should be fine. You're good. R7 3800X and RTX 3080 combo is going to be lit. Oh, that 3000 power right there. Hey, for those of you that own your 2080 Ti's, be proud. That's a solid card. You're good. And at least, hey, look at this. Look at it this way. If you're at least you don't have to go through the the mad dash to grab one of these new cards. Let me tell you. Are the Corsair uh, AIOs actually just Corsair? Uh, we have a mix, but the majority of them are Corsair. So, I only know here on stream we like to showcase the Corsair AIOs. I was planning to order a new rig today. Should I wait two weeks for the new NVIDIA GPUs? Con uh, Todd, uh, contact our sales team if you want to know more information. I know on our site we do have a, a notification or letting people know. And if you do want to know when we're officially selling systems with 30 series cards at originpc.com, uh, it's a sign up for our mailing list. Um, but if you 100% want a confirmed answer, talk to our sales team. They will give you some details on that. Uh, I'm trying to go through. I had a feeling today was going to be crazy. I don't know if Curve, if you're in the chat, but I feel like this wave of questions about the 30 series was going to happen today. And uh, <laughs> I, I saw it coming. And actually, we were talking about that um, before the stream was that uh, it, we were actually originally planning to do this stream yesterday. And I suggested to do it today because yesterday was NVIDIA stream and I would be overloaded with questions and I wouldn't be able to answer them all. But now I have a little bit more information so I can properly answer it, uh, a lot of your questions. So, uh, you, again, happens every GPU cycle. Happened with the Tony series is happening now. So, you don't need thermal plates if the AIO has already has some, right? You're correct. Um, it's, it should, should be good to go. If the AIO already has it there, you just. Uh, Remove it and immediately put it on your CPU and uh, screw it in. If it does not have thermal paste, you need to put the thermal paste. When is PC2 coming out? <laughs> That's a good one. What's the best way? I think I've already answered that one. When do you think the third party's 3080? It's probably going to be the same day, to be honest. I, I know for sure they want to sell those cards, but the question is how much do they have? Dude, dude, I know a guy who just sold his 2070 Super because he's going to get a 3070. Good luck, man. Good luck. I always warn people, like, now they're going to end up with no card because, watch, everything's going to sell out. And then, surprise, no card. Maybe act a little too fast there. But maybe if he, if he does get it, like I said earlier in the stream, um, if he does get the card, awesome. If he does not get the card and he doesn't have any card at all, I don't know how you're going to play Call of Duty, bro. <laughs> Or uh, play Witch or uh, as I say, Witcher, Cyberpunk. I don't know how you're gonna do it. Good luck. I love your hair. Thank you. I appreciate that. How do you think the new Xbox will hold up against the average PC? Average PC is gonna change. Uh, in the next six months, we're gonna see what the average PC is. Um, so that'll be interesting to see. As of right now, um. I think the average PC kind of has an edge over the Xbox Series X, especially if they have an SSD. Remember when NVIDIA made 90 series cards, like dual cards? Pepperidge Farm remembers her. I remember, too. Actually, I was looking through uh, some of our older images and so we used to have SLI cards of, like, four stack. Like, 90, 80. 90, 80. 90, 80. <laughs> 
90 80. Well, P's is going to send me a picture. And we'll showcase it on stream. Yeah, just send it to me. I'll show people on stream. Catching up with the comments. Why does it feel like I'm... the comments are repeating what the heck i have a lot of mixed opinions on cpu intel versus amd what do you think in general um again as a personal person not as representing company as you know i think both gps or both gps both cpu company or intel and amd make solid cpus right now um however if you're going with a specific kind of case i don't i mean like test case or like your use case i should say um look at the benchmarks number one and then ask yourself what are you going to use this pc for are you going to be using it for gaming are you going to use it for professional work and you'll find that the answer might push you in a direction towards which cpu you want to get i know there's a lot of love for amd ryzen and it's well deserved those cpus are awesome um However, oh, what do we got here? I got a message. Let me, let me, let me finish my thought here. Um, and you'll find that the Intels typically offer higher gaming performance. A couple frames here or there, but the AMD Ryzen's are still very good in red gaming. Let, I'm not going to discount AMD. AMD's are awesome CPUs. Um, and Intel's are just as great as well. But look at the benchmarks. Again, especially for games that you like play. For example, I know we had a ton of people over the Guild Wars community uh, stop by in our last stream, our last gameplay stream. I'm pretty sure they would probably prefer a certain GP or a certain CPU over another. Um, so, and again, according to the benchmarks, this is not personal opinion. According to benchmarks, Intel's Intel chips lean in favor of gaming. However, if you do multitasking, the AMD chips typically do better there. Again, look at the benchmarks. Look if you confirm it yourself. I'm just saying from, from what I've seen. I guess unless something changed overnight, that's what from what I've seen. That's a four card and then a three card setup. All right, let me see. PJ okay. sent me some photos. Let me, I'm gonna open up some photos for you guys. We're, we're gonna go down memory lane here, friends. Those are the first. That's and the picture of the case, That's the first gen prime uh, Genesis. Hold on, friends. Check this out. Past. Look at that. That's four. Count four GPUs. Whoa, 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 whoa. And this is all uh, liquid cooled, by the way. You can see the the fittings there. This is the past, friends. And then look at that. That was like 2015. PJ says 2015. Oh, are you, is your mic on? Oh, uh, that, you're, you're on. No worries. It's, it's, it, it's, you're good. Yeah, that was like 2015. Turn on. So that's the past, friends. That is the past. But now we're in the future. The future! So when does Orange go live or ordering with this new GPU? Same day as they're going to be available, man. Um, but if you are interested, talk to our sales team. Because I'm sure that they'll work something. I know that we've gotten a ton of requests. Um, cause imagine if you, you know, you ordered a system and now you're like, hold up, this system hasn't shipped yet. Hold up. <laughs> so uh, our sales team is probably bogged down by a bunch of, uh, talks and stuff. So if you do talk to them, be nice to them. They're dealing with a lot right now. <laughs> so yeah, cause imagine like, you, let's say you ordered a system last week and then this announcement happens. You're like, hold on. My system hasn't shipped yet. I want that GPU. So you can imagine what they're going through. Heart goes out to sales team. Sales team, much love. I don't know if you're watching, but hey, guys. Uh, what do you think, think of the new Lian Lee RGB fans? What do they got now? They always come with the craziest things, man. What are, what, what's going on here? I know they got that GPU thing what, what we got Hold on, i'm trying to see I, I don't see anything in the news 
What is this? Cables? Oh, man, what is this? That's crazy, man. Those guys. I love her Corsair stuff, though. Corsair's great. But those guys, I got to give them credit, man. They come up with some creative stuff. Very creative. All right, let me jump out over here. Can you ask Corsair to make LL140 fans in white asking for a friend? You can ask them yourself. They're, they take a lot of feedback. You'd be surprised. They're really active on social too. Um, if you just send them a message or something, they'll be like, oh yeah, sure. What resolution are you running for gaming or for the stream? For the stream, it should be 1080p unless something's wrong. Let me double check really. Now you got me nervous. Am I not at 1080p? I'm 1080p. But for me at home, I play at 1440p. What are the benefits of a third-party card? Different cooling solution. That's usually the top choice, the way the card looks. Um, actually, PC Gamer <laughs> had an article today about how the different 30 series cards, kind of some of them look really crazy. And uh, I don't want to put it up on screen. I don't, I don't want to you know, poke fun, but very interesting. But the main benefit is a cooling solution. Uh, that's usually the top and the performance as well because founders edition cars are typically perfectly fine but you'll find that the third party sometimes do a little micro overclocking or a little, they sometimes push the cart too um uh evga does it uh asus msi almost everyone they do their little tweaks to the cards to give a little extra oomph so and also it's uh integrated into their uh, ecosystem as well so if you have like an asus uh system with their asus lighting system i, I forget what it's called um or Asus Aura. Uh, if you get an Asus card, you can sync that with your system. Um, and likewise with all the other cards. So, Bunyanic, just here to see the top notch cable management. Right? Oh man, I'm seven minutes behind. Whew. How long does it take to get added to the Discord channel? Now. Hey, I know you're watching, Discord team start adding people i know we've been talking about that and making it easier for people to join um the the reason we do it the way we do it like that is because sometimes we get a ton of uh trolls and spammers so we just try to like keep it cool down basically so but you know the trolls and spammers we ban them real fast if we don't see them if not someone usually lets me know or lets one of the discord team know to nuke them a laggy gamer asks what do you think a reasonably used market price for a 2080 ti is right now Right now, I would probably say $800. And now you're probably thinking, well, that's too much money. Now, hold on. Are the 30 card, thirty series cards available right now, though? No? Can I buy one right now? No? Okay, then $800. <laughs> it's like Wolf of Wall Street. Like, you want this pen? <laughs> a little reference there for you movie buffs. But basically, the prices are going to stay a little bit high. Um, because 30 ser series cards aren't officially available yet. And you'll find that the 20 series cards might actually even hold in price because if the 30 series cards sell out, the next best thing is a 20 series card. Just saying. Da, 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 da. Roughly, what is the cheapest price range would a PC cost for gaming, streaming, and recording? Uh, and some of my brand is going to buy that stuff and build it for me. Hmm. I would say 1,500 to start. Why 1,500? Because you're going to need a seven range CPU or more, and then likely the 3070 GPU, and then 32 gig gigabytes of RAM. Again, if you're doing it solo streaming, if you're doing it all in one, that would be my recommendation. I'm going to catch. I'm going to do a jump here. If I see anything that really calls me out, I'll respond to it. Are you going to be using Corsair Q for the egg control? I'm not sure. For this? I don't, I don't know what that question means, unless I, I missed the reference or something. Hamal with excellent advice. Be nice to everyone, and you'll get further in life. Can't get better than that, man. Do, do, 
Do, do, do. I'm catching up. I'm doing a big jump. All right. What do you think is better for gaming and stuff? Desktop and et cetera. Ryzen 9, 3900X or Intel i7, 10700K? Mm, that's a tough one. You're comparing a 9 with a 7, man. I mean, what's your budget? <laughs> if you're considering the 9, then, you know, if, you're, if you really want that Ryzen 9, I, don't, I won't stop you. But don't count out the Intel i9 to 900K, man. Um, again, if you're only gaming, if you're only gaming, because some people only game on their PC and they've used for browsing or stuff, maybe check out the i9 10900K specs. Or wait. Sometimes people like to wait. Maybe new stuff is on the horizon. I don't know. Again, speculation. I have no idea. But we'll see. All right. I'm doing some good catching up here. Let me see here. Oh. 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 Jory Zing, what kind of response do you think AMD needs to have to compete with the 30 series? Interesting question. Um, AMD does a pretty good job at uh, commanding that $300, $400, $200 price point. So I expect them to come out with cards to compete in that price range. I would be interested to see if they do come out cards competing with the 30 series, though. I know there's a lot of rumors about that uh, big Navi, too. So we'll see. Again, I have no idea of speculation, so we'll see. Uh, da, 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 da. Why does Origin PC cost too much? Freak Zom brings some knowledge here. It's going to be more expensive than building your own. It's a fact. I'm sorry. It's the way of life. But when you get an Origin PC, you get a professional build that looks similar to this one. You get 24-7 lifetime support. So come five years down the line, something's happened to your PC. You call up that phone number. There's going to be an Origin PC rep right there, ready to take your call, back you up. Uh, if something happens to any of the parts, unlike if you build it yourself, um, you just contact us and we'll take care of it. Hey, hey, stop grabbing me. Because um, for example, if you build your own system, something happens to say the all-in-one cooler, you'd have to contact the all-in-one cooler manufacturer and uh, settle that. But if something, if, again, the origin PC side of things, you contact us, we take care of it. So you get that quality support, it's built in the US, so Right, we're in Miami, Florida. You know, we have a team. I, I can walk right there, pointing, but I can walk in that direction and I'll see all the computers being built and tested and supported. So that's why, man. That's not too much. You know, what do you value? How much do you value your PC? Sometimes people value the fact that you don't have to take the time to build it. Although some people say they prefer to build. I respect that. And I welcome it too. I always see, I see a ton of people. Um, on our chats, always talking about their own PC builds, and it's always uh, cool to see that. All right, I'm done answering that question. Let me, I'll, all right, I'm gonna make a jump. I'm just gonna jump really fast. Oh, I'm, I'm skipping a bunch of questions, I'm so sorry. If you sent a question in the past five minutes, I'm sorry. I just made a jump, I had to do the jump, man, I'm sorry. If, if I missed your question, I apologize, so. I'm 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 already caught up now. So what's PJ doing right now? He's wiring the system. So he's doing the uh, back panel. It looks like he's adding the or doing tweaks to the uh, controller for IQ for the fans. Notorious Alex. All right, gotta go back to work. See you guys later. Nice for t thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it. Hmm. All right, I'm fully caught up. If you have questions, send them now. Again, if I miss your question, I apologize. I sincerely apologize. Uh, we gotta write my build, please. All right, here we go. Let's write this build. I nine nine hundred K Asus Rog Strix Gaming Motherboard Corsair Vengeance, sixteen gigabytes. Where's that uh, GPU? <clears throat> uh, hold on. Snap on. If um, I'm saying your last part right there, hopefully I pronounce that. Um, solid build. You got that uh, NVMe SSD and you got a Kiva SSD, so you're, you're good to go for games. Um, if you're if you got an i9, I would try to go for that 3080 if you can get it. If you want a GPU today, um, the 2080 is super still a solid card. If you can get a good price on it, but because this is a weird transition period between the 20 series and the 30 series, I highly advise you go for the 3080 and try to lock one in. 
It's going to be hard. I'm telling you, it's going to be hard. I've been saying it the entire stream. It's going to be hard. However, I would love to be proven wrong. If you come all here in one time and stream, like, I got it, 3080. Congratulations. Bravo, bravo. I'm telling you, it's going to be hard. All right. Can I see your PC specs somewhere? I'm just curious. Uh, that's a good question. I can tell you my PC specs. I don't... Uh... Well, I'd have to pull up a doc. I have a document with all my PC specs, but I have an i7 9700K, 32 gigabytes of Corsair Dominator RAM, 3200 megahertz, a 2080, RTX 2080, um, an MSI motherboard, and a 1,000, or 1,900, or 1,920 Corsair M.2 NVMe. Uh, yeah, the MP510. That's my system. So, it's pretty, I love it. I play on a 4K TV, so it's pretty dope. Now, would it be nice to get 3080? Oh, you bet. But the 2080 is a very solid card. I, have, I had a ton of fun with it. I just got the 2080 this year. So, don't worry. For those of you having that uh, stuff there, I, I feel you. But I'm having fun with my 2080. I, th I still think it's got some years left in it. All right, let's see what we got. I'm sorry I closed my eyes. I'm just trying. I was trying to picture my PC. I just did an awesome build with this case and a Ryzen 9 3900 NVIDIA 2070 Super with 32 gigabyte of Corsair Venice RAM. Nice. Congratulations to that one guy. <laughs> the price difference until with cooler AMD with stock cooler and cheaper motherboard, better monitor upgrade. Yeah, people don't count their monitors sometimes. I, for me, I already, like, I already knew I was going to be playing on a TV. That's my setup. Um, I know that 144 hertz is really nice and the 240 hertz is really nice and that 360 hertz. Um, I think that I got that in my future. I'd have to change my setup. So if there's po like my ideal setup would be able to play on the TV and also a, like a high refresh rate monitor, but that's like down in the future, man. So we'll see. When the new graphics cards are more expensive than a PC. Oh man. Well, if, if you really want the new stuff, the prices, I think, are pretty reasonable. But just keep an eye on the prices for the old stuff, too, man. The old stuff is not something to laugh at. I see a lot of people laughing at 20 Ti. Do you have 20 Ti? The only, if you have 20 Ti, you can laugh at it. <laughs> That's the rule, man. No, 2080. I was saying 2080. 1080 is really good, but I... Yeah. Do you guys know anything about compatible motherboards for the new... RTX 3000 series. Like, if I asked about the motherboard I'm looking at, would you know? Dude, any motherboard, any modern motherboard. If it came out last year, this year, you're fine. You're good. I don't know why people are so scared, but I don't know. Someone did something, Jensen. What did you do? <laughs> I mean that with a lot of love, but I don't know what how this happened. I don't know why people are so scared about motherboards and stuff. Your motherboard is fine. Don't worry. If you got a modern motherboard, you're totally fine. If you bought one last year or this year, you're good. Calm down. You're fine. Yeesh. Now, the ones I'd be worried about if you had an old CPU. If you have an old CPU, then those are the ones I would be a little bit concerned about. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about new motherboards. So, like, if you're considering buying a motherboard today, you're fine. You're good. If you're buying a new motherboard, like, brand new off of one of the retailers or on Origin PC's website, you're good. All right, let's see what we got here. I got a new uh, PC. I'm too lazy to get to use. Perhaps I'm playing games. We're weird. I can't bring in cyber. Oh, man. I would find uh, maybe if there's a game you're, interested, you're really interested, um, sometimes it's always nice to probably hop on Twitch and check. Like, one thing I will say, I know people kind of poke fun at Twitch. Like, oh, why are you going to watch people play games when you can play them yourself? It's because sometimes they bring a good personality to the game. It's almost a good showcase of a game, like, live. Like, there's no editing. It's You're watching it happen in front of you. Um, check out some of the Twitch streams of some games. Maybe if you have some uh, friends that play some games, ask them to see what they're playing and play together. I know I play a ton of multiplayer games. Uh, actually, I've actually given Warzone a shot. I haven't played Warzone at all. I know we were talking to Myers Leonard. He's a big Warzone guy, and he kind of sold me on it. And then a friend of mine asked, like, oh, why don't you download and play Warzone? And we did it. So Warzone's pretty good. I got some uh, Ws already, so hey. <laughs> Now, the Fall Guys, Fall Guys is a game I love. Fall Guys is dope. Game of the year. It's not Doom, but you know, Doom, Doom's game of the year. Are you guys going to do pre-order builds for the new NVIDIA GPU? No, we're not doing pre-orders. Um, but if you are interested in Origin PC with a 30 series card, contact our sales team. That's the only thing I can say. 
Um, because if you go to our website, um, you'll see that we have some stuff on our website, but it's not like pre-order stuff. It's complicated. Talk to our sales team. Making sure. Oh, oh, oh. Cool. Okay. All right. Let's make sure. Uh, I, I, the thing is, sometimes I say stuff on stream. It's between you and me, chat. I say stuff, and then I get messages, and I'm like, oh, I should have said that. But I'm doing pretty good today, so doing pretty good. I'm going to upgrade my Sandy Bridge 970GX with i9-3080. The improvement should be nice. Oof, man. Good luck, man. I, I, I welcome that upgrade for you. Hey, Lewis, do you think I should upgrade my CPU? Currently have an i5 8600K. That's going to last, uh, I want to say, two or three years. You're good for now. Bless you. Thank you. Gazoon tight. PJ just sneezed. I have a question. Is there any reason that RAM could cause a PC to fail boot to BIOS? I've removed one stick and it seems to work, but I really prefer to have all four sticks in. That's interesting. Um, hmm. I'm not really sure. I, I wish I could provide more technical support there. I've never really heard of that one. That's a first. I'm sure you've already probably looked up like some support questions. I wish I could answer that off the top of my head, but I would probably position them differently, uh, reseat them, maybe. Either it's a bad RAM stick for it to fail, or it might be something in the settings. You might want to check if your uh, your RAM settings are set properly. Because, some like for example, there's a the Intel XMP. Maybe that might be causing some issues. Um, check your BIOS settings. But if it's failing to boot to BIOS, man, that's... <sighs> Maybe RMA the RAM? I don't know. I, I'm, just, I'm just throwing some ideas at you. I, I know that sucks. Let's see what we got. Oh, man. I, the second I get really deep into question or answering questions, I get behind. That's what happens. But I'm doing pretty good. Let me catch up. da 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 Anyway, to get your opinion on the look of my build, uh, that one guy, if you uh, want to join the Origin PC Discord, um, I know I always like to peek in there and see what people have got. Um, you just have to get approved. So if you go to discord.gg slash Origin PC, actually, I think I have a link and a cool picture for it, too, if I'm correct. Yes, I do. Uh, discord.gg slash Origin PC. That link should work. I know Discord's moving away from the gaming branding, uh, but that link should work. So if you want to showcase your build, uh, welcome all. Just note that uh, you have to introduce yourself and stuff. So we're going to work on that, though. I know that uh, the team's talking behind the scenes. I'm trying to streamline that because we've had a ton of people jump to our Discord recently. So we do have a, there's a section called, uh, where is it, setups? And you can showcase your system there. I know we've had a couple people showcase their system there. What's wrong with 20 Ti? Nothing. If you own it, you're good. I think. I know people are saying, oh, it's outdated. Do you own a 20 Ti? <laughs> I usually find the people that are uh, critical of 20 Ti don't own one. I have a 2080. I love my 2080. I know these new GPs are dope. It would be cool to have a 30. Absolutely. But if I didn't get one, I'd be fine with a 2080. Also, a 1660i would be enough to decently run Cyberpunk right. Some sites are blowing the specs out of proportion. CD Projekt Red hasn't released the official specs list. Um, I think the 1660i should be able to run the game at 1080p or 1440p. I think, but you might have to tweak the settings. I'm speculating. I'm speculating. Um, but I'm sure once uh, they release the specs, we'll know more details. Will the 650-watt power supply in my PC be sufficient for this 3070? Yes. According to NVIDIA, that is the uh, minimum power supply that you need for the 3070. For the 3080 and 3090, you need a 750 watt power supply. So if you're, if you're building a build or, or putting together a build, consider that. Yeah, I'm sorry. I've been, this has like been such a heavy technical and question and answer session. But that, shush, English. Let me drink water. I'm, I haven't talked. It's been an hour and 30 minutes? PJ, I don't know how you do it. What? Listen to me blabber. I'm going to turn on your mic and just chime in. <laughs> he says he can shut, shut me out. You, dude, I've been you, talking. Blabbering is just like me talking about cars. Dude, so. 
Dude. <laughs> PJ saying it's like same, same. him talking about cars. Is my mic on? No, your mic's not on. Oh. My mic is on now. We're, on, you're, we're getting some fuzzy noises because I think as you're moving it. Oh, 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 oh. Talk. How about now? Hey. Hey. So, what did you say to my response about me blabbering? Uh, so you're, you talking about computers like that is like me talking about cars all day. So, I get it. Thank you. You're welcome. Just don't do that voice over again. Thank you. Stop! <laughs> I'm muting. I, I just muted you, PJ. Thank you for the chime in. I'm catching. Oh, dude, I literally spent two seconds talking to PJ, and now the questions just blew up. I'm all right. Let me catch up here. Okay, rapid fire question here. An RGPC will a 3070 be good enough for 1440p 144 hertz gaming? I'm gonna say yes, but wait for the benchmarks. Wait for the benchmarks. There's speculation that Nvidia would announce entering the CPU market. What are your thoughts? That's crazy if that's true, but again, speculation. It'd be cool to have a competitor um, in that market. The thing is, Intel and AMD have done such a good job for the past couple of years, especially AMD. AMD's definitely made a, a cool comeback with the Ryzen. How will the 3900X pair with the 3080? Awesome pairing. Can't go wrong with that. That's an excellent combo. Hey, I have an i7-920. That still runs fine. Dang. Nice. Da, 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 da. Catching up with the comments here. Hey, my computer's internet is very slow, and I use Ethernet, but my other devices are fast. Any way to fix this or any upgrades that would help? Um, That sounds weird. Uh, Tryfast.com. I'm not endorsing them. I like using that website to test internet speeds um, and then compare it with other devices on your network. I don't know. It's either your system's getting throttled by something. If there's a setting, I don't know. If, Cause I know in steam, you can throttle your own downloads. Um, you might want to check that if there's anything like that. Um, or if you're downloading something in the background, that sometimes like if windows downloads and updates, sometimes your download speeds goes down. Yeah. Or there's multiple people in your network. Um, there's no PC upgrade that can help that, unfortunately. Um, if you have a regular motherboard Ethernet port, that's pretty much the extent of that. Ethernet's always better than Wi-Fi, by the way. Don't play in Wi-Fi. I know if sometimes you have to play in Wi-Fi, but I highly advise everyone to play in Ethernet. Yeah, agreed. If you don't have to, don't do it. Do you think even the 3090 is going to be tough to get? Yes. All of them. All of them. 3070, 3080, 3090 are going to be hard to get. All of them? Yes. All of them. All the cards. All of them. All of the cards are going to be hard to get. So what are you saying? <laughs> All of it. Wait. What do you mean? All the cards. Todo? Yep. Todos los cajetas. Yep. Did I say that right? Yeah. Cool. All right. I'm muting now. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> do you play Rocket League? I used to a long time ago. I don't play it anymore. I play Fall Guys, though. I'm, I'm, I have a friend who's really good at the Fall Ball. I'm okay. I still can't master the hit. Like the the launch hit sounds like a stupid question, but why exactly is it bad idea to vacuum clean your PC for dust when everything's unplugged from the wall? It's not a stupid question. Um, so sometimes with the vacuum cleaners, is that they generate static electricity? Sometimes, not all of them. Um, I wouldn't use a vacuum cleaner. I would use what's called a data vac, or if you use compressed air, I highly be careful, be careful, be careful, because compressed air does have liquid, so and never tilt the can or put it upside down. You don't, you never want to do that. Um, yeah, it's usually the static. Da, 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 da. Catching up here. Where do you get the AIO look covers with your logo? Are they made by you or another company? That's a good question. I don't know. I think it's Corsair. Yeah, I was gonna say I think Corsair makes them for us. Remember Corsair, Origin PC, fam. Collab. Son. Collab. Can you sell your 2080 for like 700? Nah, mine. I have a 2080. 
but I feel like the reasonable price for the 2080 Ti right now today is likely around 800, 900. And again, don't cr don't laugh at me. I know you're laughing. You're probably saying this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Jensen just said yesterday the 3070 is better, if not like the 2080i. He's right. Don't doubt it. But do you have the 3070 in your hand? Can you buy the 3070 right now? No. <laughs> what do you call it? PJ said I'm mean. Am I mean, yeah, chat? Mean. How am I being mean? I'm just speaking the truth, man. Can you buy a 30 series card right now? How about people don't want to hear the truth right now? I'm just trying to, you know, like point out the fact that 20 series cards are still really good and there's plenty of people in the world that'd be more than happy to take a 20 series card in their GP, uh, C, um, in their PC. I'm happy with my 20 series. If I can't get my hands on a 30 series, I'm I'm fine. I can use my 20 series for another year or two. Big a possible upgrade to the PS5. That is a question we get sometimes. Um, we have to wait and see. I know that every time we talk about Big O and Next Gen, our team gets a little nervous. <laughs> Hello, me? Yeah? Well, what the heck you guys want one of those for? I mean, I don't know. If they're, get a 3 Series PC. I think you're good to go. But Why would you want one of those? I mean, who would be as crazy as to even create one? And make I want to play Horizon 2 and Spider-Man, PJ. <sighs> so what are you saying? I want to play Horizon. So you want me to build one? I, I want to play Spider-Man. You want I, I, I want Spider-Man. Talk to my boss. <laughs> See what she said. Talk to the director of marketing. Her name? I, I, I want, I, I, I want Spider-Man, PJ, on my PC. All right. See what boss lady said. <laughs> All right, let me continue. Are there different types of Ethernet? Yes, there are actually different ty types of Ethernet cables. You can look it up. I don't want to spend too much time on that. Let me. I have all these other questions to go through. Ah! Oh man, how much? How, I'm seven minutes behind, dude. All right, I'm gonna go fast. Can you suggest to me a decent fifty dollar mic that is not snowball? None in our country for some reason. If you want to spend a little bit more money, the Elgato Wave Three, Wave Three or Wave One microphones are pretty good. I don't know if those are pretty hard to get, though, right now, because they're really good. We're using the Elgato one right now. Or that's the one I'm using. PJ's using a wireless mic because he moves. Okay. Come. What about with a 3090? Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Cyrus on YouTube. If I wanted to grab a 3070, would my i5-8600K be dragging anything down? No. <laughs> that's real fast. No, it's not. It's a good CPU still. Sorry. You're fine. There's people with uh, that are using fourth gen or can still, you know, rocket. You have an eighth gen CPU. You're, you're good. Think about getting the 10600K using integrated. What do you think about its clock and its use? Uh, hmm. Integrated graphics on the 10600K is okay. Um, but if you're going with that upgrade path, um, consider possibly the 2060. If you want to save some money, if not, whatever Nvidia's got after the 3070, I have no idea what it is. Maybe they might even call it something crazy, but I'm telling you, those 20 series cards are still really good. So, I know again, as I keep mentioning the price fluctuation is going to get crazy. It's going to get crazy. Cray cray. Cray cray. All my purchases came in 20 minutes ago. I'm going to build this weekend. Oh, enjoy, Mr. Kip, and good luck with your system. Never game on Wi-Fi and never stream on Wi-Fi. True words have never been spoken. My current build, it's outdated already. It's an i7-4790K with a motherboard ASRock. It's a good PC, though. If you've had it for ever since like those parts came out, that's honestly a solid build. It's served. It's, it still has a little bit of juice in it, but I don't doubt if you want to upgrade it. I do not doubt it. Da, da, da. I think I answered that question, Wesley. Yeah, yeah I already did. Um. CS Cousins, I see your comment. I'm just going to say Kappa to you. <laughs> oh, no. Mm. 
Big Booty on Twitch saying, extremely careful with my last PC cleaning, but it died regardless. Probably the mother were, but what's the point of trying to fix a five-year-old PC? Hey, there's some sometimes life in five-year-old PCs. You can turn to do something, like turn to an HT PC, home theater PC, or have it do something, maybe run it, turn, turn it to a Minecraft server. I don't know. I don't play Minecraft, but sometimes people do that. They use old PCs as servers. I don't think Lewis is being mean. Thank you, Cyrus. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, is cloth, cloth scrap good enough to wipe the dust off important components? Jay sprays water intentionally in the GPU while it's running and didn't die, even though he sprayed it with murderous intent. There, If you look up on YouTube, Chrissy, um, there should be some videos on how to properly clean the PC. I think a cloth... No, I wouldn't say cloth scrap, but there are some materials that are... Oh, pretty decent to just go in and wipe the parts um but just make sure that they don't, they don't generate static that's the most important thing because sometimes like some towels or like things can generate static so you got to be careful i like the compressed air but again i always say that with an asterisk because of the warning of like you don't want to spray liquid into it um data facts pretty good too if you look that up it's like a 70 dollar little uh pc cleaner is there a step up program yes there is we do have the evolve program but because we're in a transition period, I highly, highly advise if you're interested in getting Orange PC with Origin PC with a 30 series card, talk to our sales team. Talk to our sales team. Talk to our sales team. They're probably swamped with requests, so if they don't respond to you now, it's probably because we're in a transition period with GPUs. But they will do their best to uh, get you situated with a proper upgrade path. But we do have our Evolve program. So what our Evolve program is is basically you pay for the option, like let's say. We buy back your card, and you, pay the difference. and you pay the difference for the upgrade. So we have some people that do own the uh, the Evolve program. They're probably contacting us right now, as a matter of fact, um, to do the Evolve program. So they paid for that service. So now they're eligible for the buyback. So we buy back their GPU, and then we give them a new GPU. So, But you can see more on our uh, configurator. Actually, I can show you guys. Again, it doesn't make sense to order a P, uh, an Origin PC right now. Again, I highly, 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 highly advise you guys talk to our sales team uh, to get, like, you're on the right path to get a system with a 30 series card. But let me show you guys uh, what the Evolve program looks like. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hold. So right here, uh, under the warranty section, you can see that uh, the Evolve program is like an add-on. You can add. So the Evolve service, it's a 59 upgrade along with the warranty. So let's say you get this one, you add the warranty. Um, basically, that means uh, cu as a customer, you have the ability to return computer components for credit equal to current market value and then uh, get a new part from us too. Our sales team knows more information about that, but that's pretty much the gist of it. That's our like upgrade program that we offer. But again, if you're ordering a PC today, I highly, highly, highly advise you talk to our sales team. Okay, let's see here. I was trying to catch. Oh no, I spent some time on that question. Now more people responded. Oh, I need to get a 3070. You've been bumming with a 70. 750 Ti for years. Make sure you get the right power supply. I know the thing is with these uh, GPU upgrades, uh, power supply upgrades might be needed on some systems because I know some people have like a 500 watt. It's not enough. It's not enough. Daniel, so I should cancel my big O. Talk to your sales rep. Just talk to them so you can uh, get the, the right setup for that. The Alcada Wave mic is sold out for three months now. I check daily. Yeah, it's it's a good one. I'm not going to lie. I've been using it. What you hear is essentially the Elgato Wave mic. I'm not using any software to like delete background noise. I just have the gain lowered. Um, But I think it's pretty good. If you guys like the sound quality here, then that's pretty much what the Elgato Wave mic sounds like. Uh, what's more future-proof? Oh, that's, nah, that's not a question for me. Do you think the new cards will make Gen 4 PCI slots more useful, or will we not be close to saturating the Gen 3? 
we're not going to see Gen 4 PCIe graphics cards or graphics cards take advantage of Gen 4, I think, for a while. And the reason being is because Intel motherboards do not support PCIe Gen 4. Once Intel properly supports PCIe Gen 4, then I can see both NVIDIA and AMD properly supporting it. But right now, and even then, I expect those cards to be backwards compatible with Gen 3. Again, my theory is that if Intel does get uh, PCIe Gen 4 support on their motherboards, um, we're still going to see Gen 3 support because so many PCs out there have it. So, All right, let's see here. So when I order my new rig in a few weeks, can I, can I get a build video like this one? Uh, <laughs> typically, no. Um, like the majority of the time, no, to be honest. Um, oh, let me see. I see <laughs> Todd Phillips. <laughs> no. Imagine if we get, if people, uh, a long, long time ago when we started live builds, uh, Kuzi used to sit here and do all the talking, um, he announced he was like oh everyone who uh wants to do a live build just contact your sales rep and we'll do one so many requests came in for live bills that no lie if that still was a thing we'd be building a lot we build we'd be building pcs until like the end of time that's how much requests we got it was insane so then we had to put like a no can't do it can't do it so that's why that means our PJ, our jobs would just be like building PCs all the time on oh, stream. Damn, that's a disappointment. And I would be talking all day, every day. I'd be like a radio talk show host at that point. I'd just be like, "Hey guys, hey Lewis, hi." Not a radio talk show host? Yeah, no, I'm not a radio talk show host. I'm a live streamer here, talking, hosting, and watching you build a PC. And I haven't commented on your PC building, man. I've been answering. I have been answering so many questions today. It's insane. Normally, I mean, live bills are typically that way, but the thing is I've been like whoosh, just churning them out, churning them out. And I hope you guys appreciate my answers. I hope I, I'm doing, being helpful. If I'm not being helpful, then let me know. I'll just shut up. I'll keep you on. All right, I'm muting PJ. Ah. Ah. All right. Let me catch up with some questions. I bought an Asus RG Strix 20 to Super like seven months ago. Will it be worth its upgrade or with a 30 or Should I still wait for a year, wait till the next lineup? I would wait. You have a really good GPU. Um, you won't, you're going to see a boost in performance, but it's not because you have the 2080 Super. You, the boost is going to be, I want to estimate. I'm estimating, this is not official, most likely around possibly. A 50% boost, 60% boost, but you gotta wait till the benchmarks. And it's also gonna be really hard to get a 3080 at launch. You have a good card, enjoy it. Um, Cause luckily, again, you don't have to worry about the, the bull rush unless you really, really want that GPU, but you're fine. I think you're fine. All right, let me keep going over here. Up, oh, got another question from Christy. What are your thoughts on super fast keyboards and keyboard switches? I got the Seal, uh, Seal Series Apex Pro with adjustable switches, with has, which are all good for typing and all sorts, but I'm curious what people think about these things. I know that Corsair has a couple of uh, fast keyboards. Honestly, personally, I actually, <laughs> the keyboard that I actually have in our uh, streaming setup is the same one I have at home. Hilariously, it's an old one. It's a Razer uh, Deathstalker. Um, I have that one at home. I've had it for years. <laughs> so I'm not probably not the person to talk, uh, to talk about keyboards, but I know Corsair has a ton of resources on their website for the different speeds and stuff, and I know other keyboard manufacturers have that. Um, and I know there's a community for that sort of stuff. I wish I was more into the the keyboard. I, I'm, I like the mice stuff. I got a, a Destiny 2 mouse. Hey, don't judge me. I like Destiny 2, but yeah. I wish I could answer that question a little bit better. Um, I know there's a lot of cool tech coming on the keyboard space so origin pc do you ship delivered in romania good question let's see if not talk to our sales team let me check i'm changing from that is romania on our list it is it is take a look so if you go to originpc.com 
Uh, over here it says select country. You just click on the flag and then you can pick your country. So we do on this list. If your country is not on this list, contact our sales team. They should be able to get you set up. I know I just answered that question from like six minutes ago, but you know. Does Evolve program cross ship? I, I wish I could answer that. I'm, you have to talk to the sales team for that one. I'm not sure about the process of like, do you ship, you ship your GP first or do we ship the new GP first? Um, they have it all figured out. I, I wish I knew, but I don't know off the top of my head. What does Orge do with the cards they buy back? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know either. I'm assuming we sell them. Hence the same market price. So, do you guys accept payment in souls? We do not. Wave three was available this morning at six o'clock in the Corsair and sold out instantly. Oh, that's crazy, man! I'm sure Elgato is pretty happy about that, but I guess maybe not too happy because it's usually good to have a product in stock so anyone can readily buy it, but unfortunately that gives resellers a, a nice edge in the ebay market which i don't like i'm not a fan of resellers and stuff like price gougers not a fan i got a thousand watt psu in my five-year-old millennium gonna replace my 980 with a 3080 nice modern asus uh, already answered that one okay Uh, I have an Intel Core i5-7500 and 8 gigs of RAM. What should I upgrade? Hmm. Your CPU is fine for now. Your RAM is what you want to upgrade for sure. You want to go to 16 gigs or if you have the money, 32. But 16 is a sweet spot right now today. We got a cool comment from uh, CS Cousins. Kids these days don't know how lucky they are. GPU prices may seem high, but cards from 2014 can still respectively play games. Back in the day, you can even start a newer game with a card more than a couple years old. They are completely correct. <laughs> oh, man. The days of the Crisis and Battlefield 3 and even Battlefield 2. And I remember the, the rush for people to try to upgrade their PCs for Battlefield 2. I don't own a PC at the time, but I distinctly remember everyone trying to like upgrade their rigs for Battlefield 2. So, and also internet speeds, man. I feel like internet speeds has completely changed it. Uh, decide Ryzen by now. Wait, or by now or wait for Ryzen CPUs. Well, obviously the future of Ryzen. Uh, a lot of talk about it behind the scenes and uh, rumors and stuff. I don't know it for sh for sure myself. Um. But if you have a good PC right now, I think you're fine with waiting. If you do not have a PC, there's nothing wrong with the Ryzen 3rd gen. I think 3rd gen PCs are very solid. Um, I've actually recommended it to people who have asked me. They're like, oh, I, I want to get a PC right now. Th you can't go wrong with 3rd gen. Solid CPU line. But again, if you don't have a CPU, I mean, I'm, have CPU. I'm fumbling my words. If, <laughs> my words. If you don't have a uh, PC, um then the third gen would probably be good for now. Um, but if you do have a PC or do you have the means to play games or do whatever you need to do, um, you're okay with waiting. I think you'd be fine with waiting. Do you guys have laptops? We do. We have tons of laptops. Oh, I say tons. But we have a, a gaming laptop lineup that includes uh, thin and light laptops and then desktop replacement laptops. You can see it at originpc.com under a laptop section. Let me quickly answer some questions. I am behind by five minutes. Oh. Uh, uh. All right, let me let me let me see here. What is the best looking, good looking, nicest case that you recommend? This twenty two twenty T, the Corsair two twenty T, which is awesome. Um, our court our. Our Origin cases are pretty dope, too, but you can only get them if you order an Origin PC at OriginPC.com. I will give some love to Corsair cases, though. I think they're really good. All right, let me see here. Uh, were the key Guild Wars 2 giveaways already sent? The grand prize winner's been contacted. I should be contacting the uh, GameKey winners shortly. Where is my last name from? That's a good question. I don't know. I never really looked that up. 
oh wow i feel kind of dumb now i'm here talking about tech stuff and it's like my last name I'm like oh wow I, no you caught me on the spot there Deza. you caught me on the spot is there a giveaway yes there are let me send a message i'll post it in chat Floop. Oh no, I lost all the comments. I'm, I'm rewinding. Let me see if I can try to cast some questions here. What do you think of our Corsair 850 RMX 80 plus gold be suitable? Yes, you have an 850 watts uh, power supply. You're good. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, I already answered the case question. On a scale from 1 to 10, oh, oh, oh. How <laughs> the Leon Leon. I don't know, man. Those things are crazy. I have to like see them in person. Like, I admire their creativity. I have to say that, uh, Lee and Lee. Admire it. It's very cool stuff. But I've never worked with the, those uh, fans or their tech. I like their power supply cable or the GPU cable. It's so crazy. And their cases are cool, too. Let me see here. Uh, what are you... I'm looking to get into stream, but I will be using capture card and con with console with no games to play it on the PC. That's a good question. Um... So I know for stream PCs, sometimes people forego the graphics card, but to them, I say consider adding a graphics card, whether it's a 10, a Pascal card or a 20 series card, um, mainly because of that NVENC encoding. NVENC coding is awesome. We use it here for our streams here at Origin PC. So what you're watching is actually encoded by NVIDIA GPU um, with the help of a Ryzen Threadripper CPU. So it's a good combo for that. Um, now, do I recommend a Threadripper for streams? No, you're totally fine with a Intel Core i7 or a Ryzen 7 for streaming. Uh, you can get away with the 5s, but the 7s are usually pretty good for that. What GPU is in this? We're using a 2080 Ti, but we're talking behind the scenes to upgrade to the 30 series, so don't worry. Da, 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 da. When will the 3000 series GPU and desktop from Origin will come? Uh, uh, day and date. Uh, once we get those GPUs and customers have ordered it, uh, well, orders officially open on the launch day, okay? Um, but if you are interested, because, again, we're in that weird transition period, 30 series just got announced. However, they're not officially launching until a certain date. Um, talk to our sales team. Okay. Da, 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 da. How big of a difference would 30 gigabytes of RAM make compared to 16? I don't know the speed of my RAM. I'm just checking my laptop. Uh, there's videos on YouTube that actually show uh, comparisons for benchmarks. With 32 gigabytes of RAM, I find that your gameplay is a little bit smoother. You get like a one and a two frame rate boost, to be honest. But it is nice, especially if you multitask. Like you can have Chrome open, you'll be fine. I know Chrome, the great RAM eater. So. But if you do like to multitask while gaming, I would probably consider 32 gigabytes for future proofing. But if you don't, if you just only play games, 16 is totally fine. You, if you actually don't even care about that, 16 is fine. I personally like 32 gigs for modern builds, but that's if you have that extra budget for your PC build. Hey, what you doing that for? I don't know what to use it for. <laughs> it's there just in case. All right, I'm catching up with the... What's the build cost? I can calculate that. Give me a second. Hold. So PJ is actually almost done. He's just doing some uh, final touch-ups and wiring on the system. We're actually going to build out a similar PC build on OriginPC.com right now. <laughs> Kevin, why, how do you keep your hair looking so good? Shampoo and conditioner? <laughs> Combing it? I don't know. Yeah, what, makes it, what makes you think it's real? What makes you think the hair is real? Yeah. Ow! That hurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah how about that big? How about that one? You like that? Yeah, th that hurt. I'm just, I'm, not... a hater with a, I'm just a hater with no hair. All right, we're going to jump over to originpc.com and uh, customize a PC, similar to the one we're building today. Sorry, PJ. I know you're, you're doing some touch-ups on the wiring, but someone wanted to see the price. So we're going to figure it out. <laughs> All right, so here's the site. So we're in the Neuron section, uh, customizing the Neuron over here. So we selected the Corsair 220T. 
Uh, it's the white case, so we selected the white case there. Uh, there's our special offer, so uh, we're going to be going with... All right, the 9900K is not on the website. I thought it was, but we'll go ahead and go with... Uh, let's see. Da, 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 the KF. It's kind of the same price point. This is a little bit more expensive, though. It's not going to be a perfect match, but we're going to close as possible. Uh, motherboard, we went with the Asus Prime... So we'll get the one that's closest similar to that, which unfortunately is this one. I know it's not the same. It's not going to be a one-to-one, -one, but I'm going to do it as close as possible. RAM, we got a 64 gigabyte kit going on over here, so we'll pick that one. Cooling, we got the Corsair H100i. Fans, we got uh, LL fans, right, PJ? Yes, sir. All right, we got LL fans. Graphics card, we got the 2080 Ti. Operating system drive, we went with the Seagate Fire CUDA 1 terabyte. I don't think you're going to find a 14 terabyte storage drive on the internet. No, we have a 12. On the website? Oh, we have 10. I'm adding a 10 terabyte hard drive. And then an 850 watt power supply. So, approximately, again, this is not one to one. But approximately, with these specs, and again, the CPU is a little bit higher end on our site, I would estimate it closer to 4,300-ish. But again, we're using the 2080i, and that's uh, based on our price points that we have set up over here. So, but I know you're wondering how the prices for GPUs, hey man, that stuff gets crazy. That's beyond my level. <laughs> so that's the approximation. Hey, for those, for, I see you typing that F in chat for 28. We're actually talking behind the scenes to replace it and upgrade it to a 30 series. So calm down, cool your jets, and the 20 Ti is still a really good card. So calm down, man. Do you have a 20 Ti? I want to know. There he goes again. Who has a 20 Ti? Raise your hand. I have a 2080, so I can like half raise it. 20 Ti? Anyone? I don't see anyone raising their hand. Hmm? Cool Me. Me. <laughs> I have a 1080 Ti. Not me, I have a 2070. Uh, everyone's coming up with their uh, GPUs now. There's life in the 20 series. I feel if you have a 2080 Ti, I see a couple people do say they have a 2080 Ti. Are you considering upgrading to the 30 series or are you going to stick with the 2080 Ti for a little bit more? I think I would personally stick with it. Um, it's still a very solid card. I think there's a ton of life in it. So give me your thoughts. I'm curious. I got a, a chat just... Uh, let's see here. Stick with it. I'm definitely getting a 3090. Yeah, see, there's some people, though, that are totally down to get the latest and greatest. I don't blame them. That if they have the money, they like doing that, by all means, do it. It's your money. You understand what it, the value it brings and the hard work you have to do to get that money. So if you're okay with that upgrade, then it, the value is there for you, then do it. So Souls Reaper being very generous. Give my roommate my 2070 when I get my hands on a 3080 to replace this 580. Wow, that's really generous. Hope you get, you get a charge. You got to charge him something. <laughs> have him pay some rent or something, a little extra. 2070 is still a good card. Buys a 30. I was joking with some friends yesterday. It's like, like, you know, there's all this talk about that new GPUs. It's like, yeah, bro, I'm gonna get this 3090 and play some Fall Guys. <laughs> I love Fall Guys, but <laughs> you don't need a 3090 to play Fall Guys. <laughs> Fall Guys is awesome, though. I, I really love it. Ray tracing is a meme? It looks cool in the games that support it, I have to say. We've done uh, streams with Control, and Control is awesome. I think it's one of the best, if not the best, showcase of our, tra our ray tracing tech. 4K 144 hertz fall, guys. 144 hertz, come on, bro. You got to go with the 360. <laughs> 
Quake 2 uh, looks, RTX looks awesome. My 1080i can't run great with it. Yeah, so Quake 2 RTX is a really cool showcase of RTX 2 because the entire game is ray trace, which is awesome. <laughs> exactly like I said my 20. I'm buying my 2080i to play Minecraft, and well, look who's laughing now. The Lamatron 5000 is coming along great, isn't it? It looks good. I know I've. Sp I'm sorry, guys. I I, I kind of want to apologize a little bit because I felt I've spent so much time talking tech, um, during the stream and not really like showcasing PJ's build. But PJ, don't laugh. It's today is a day of talking. Because yesterday was a major announcement, and um, I know a ton of you had questions. I, I, I hope I answered your question. If I didn't answer your question, by all means, answer it, or ask it again. You're not spamming. I'll do my best to answer it if you don't hear my response. I'll do my best. The thing is, you guys have a ton of questions, and you guys have been sticking around during the stream. So, Is there a big difference between 3200 and 3600 megahertz RAM? 3600 megahertz is faster speeds. However, it's significantly more expensive. Um, you're fine with 3200. Uh, if you're... A, just regular, you'd like to play games, 3200 is fine. 3600 is a little extra, in my opinion, right now. And also, your CPU, uh, make sure your CPU uh, supports the, the RAM seats, too, by the way. What do you say about the 2070? I still think it's a good card. It's better than 10 series cards. So. And remember, you have a GPU. If you have a, if you have the 27, you're holding on to it. Uh, you have a GPU. People that don't have the 30 series cards don't have it in hand yet, and we have to see if they'll be able to get it. What is that board behind the motherboard fan controller? Um, so that actually comes with the 220T case. Actually, I can show you guys what it does because the 220T uh, basically comes with a controller for the fans and that's for the lighting. So that's an IQ. Actually, let me tell you the proper name for it. I'm pulling it up now. Give me a second, friends. Um, it's. They have a name for it. It's on their page. Hold. There it is. This, but it's not talking about it. Where is it? Where is it? Oh. Hold on. IQ. No. Control F, IQ. I feel like there's so many mentions of IQ here. Da -da -da -da. So it includes an IQ lighting node core. That's what that is. And that's actually, you can connect your fans and uh, control it via IQ software. So it can look real nice. All right, we're gonna jump back. All right, I, the second, the second I jumped over to that website, a bunch of questions just came in. I'm so sorry. I, let me, I'm scrolling up. Is it worth upgrading from the MSI H370 to the Asus Prime motherboard? Yeah. If you already have the motherboard, you're fine. Unless you really, really need more CPU ports. I mean, that's not CPU. Uh, USB ports. If you need more USB ports or need more features, that's the only reason I'd recommend it. But if you have a motherboard with your CPU, stick with it. You're fine. Let's keep going. 1660 Ti. Not sure if it's worth getting a 3080, but I really want to play Cyberpunk with a stable FPS. Maybe the 37 might be in your ballpark if you're concerned about prices. Um, the 3080, again, benchmarks are going to be the biggest tell, by the way, of which GPU to, to get. However, that said, it's kind of like chicken and the egg. Do you want to wait for the benchmarks or do you want to buy it when it launches? Um, I know there's a saying in the tech industry. It's like sometimes people, it's best to not be the first adopters of a new technology. Um, other people say, you know, who cares? I want to be the first to hold to get that new tech. Um, I'm more of the first mindset of like, I prefer to wait a little bit, um, for jumping on board. I like to see benchmarks first. this is me, by the way, me personally, I like to see the benchmarks. I like to see like what people say about it. Like, are there issues with the drivers or is it good? Um, do, does my game support it? Like a game that I constantly play, like I play destiny two a lot. Does destiny two properly support it? Um, so I like to wait. That's me. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if my 960 will finally die when I try to run Cyberpunk. Oh, man. I hope not. I don't like GPs dying. That's not cool. Okay. Is Origin going to have the 30 series card at release? Yes, 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 yes. We are partners with NVIDIA. 
Um, we've been partners with NVIDIA for years, and we are going to offer the cards with our desktops. So when the cards are available and you want to get a full system, orangepc.com. I will warn you, um, it's probably going to be a first come first serve because we're probably going to get, you know, I'm, I'm speculating, but I think it's gonna, we're, we're going to have a lot, but we're also have a lot of people ordering. So it's, it's going to be interesting. Uh, your sales reps are going to be your base point of contact if you are interested in getting Origin PC desktop with the 30 series card. I have an i7 6700K and a 1070. Should I have my uh, should I have 550 budget so I can buy a 370? I see why not. The 1070 that's a good jumping point for you to go from the 1070 to the 3070. I think that's a decent leap. Yeah, that's a good. I think you're fine with the 3070 with that budget. Order an Eon 15X with some upgrades. Stoked. Congratulations, Cambion. I hope I pronounced your name, but I hope you enjoy your Eon 15X. That AMD CPU, man, I've, I've seen the benchmarks and it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. I'm lurking cooking in the kitchen, but I love all these questions and answers. Oh, glad to hear it, Beds. I always try to read the question too out loud so people don't know. Unless it's a fast question, I usually just, you know, try to read them so people know what I'm talking about. It was for more overclocking. H370 doesn't support overclocking. Oh, is it worth it though? I don't know. Like when you do overclock and you, if you overclock it properly, you're going to get a probably a 0 0.3, 0 0.4 boost in a gigahertz. I don't know. I'd be careful with that. Or if anything, possibly save money for a full system rig upgrade. But honestly, I think you're fine. I, I wouldn't stress too much about it. Unless, again, if you have the extra money and you really want to go for it, I won't stop you. But that was too... Uh, oi boy or old bowl yeah digital foundry i'm i'm honestly not surprised they were probably the first to really get the hands-on look with the 3080 because their videos are pretty in-depth and i like the way they do their showcases um so and christy's pointing out the same thing i mentioned earlier uh, NVIDIA said something along the lines up to two times the performance of 28 ti with a focus on the up to and she's correct um, not every, like, I know people are getting all excited, like, oh, the 3070 is like the 20 Ti. Eh, wait for the benchmarks. Um, I'm, like, NVIDIA's awesome. Love them. But I always am super skeptical. Again, this is me speaking personally. I'm super skeptical about new hardware until I see the benchmarks. Da, 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 da. What is the best motherboard for an R5 3600X and a 2016 new Gen 4 PCIe? Um... Yeah, just check the motherboard. The motherboards you got. You have a Ryzen, so you just, typically a good chunk of the Ryzen motherboard support uh, Gen Four. When do you think third-party GPUs will be out? Probably the same day they launch. Honestly, um, if they want to be, if they want to capture that audience, I'm pretty sure the same day. If not, just if check on your favorite uh, third parties and see when they're gonna have them. I'm pre I, I'm I'm estimating. I could be wrong. If someone wants to correct, by all means, I'm, again, this is all speculative. I'm pretty sure they're going to come out the same day that uh, NVIDIA's Founders Edition is going to come out. I could be wrong, though. I'm speculating. This is all speculation. It's not official. So, My RTX Titan's crying at the 3090. Oh, Titan's a great card, though. I, mean, I feel people... I feel you guys, though. For those of you that do have a 20 series card, I feel you. I understand your pain. But you do have a good card in your PC. Arturo has been great to work with. Ah, shout out to him, my boy, Arturo. Puns make me feel numb. Math puns make me feel number. You got me, Blues Brothers. That was pretty good. Hey, what's that? Oh, something's on. Oh, look at that. Why don't you use white zip ties, though? I need some white zip ties. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. Let me turn on this microphone. Oh, he just yelled at me. I'm nervous. I did. Yeah, I'm nervous, bro. Gosh, Danish. Danish pastries? I haven't had one of those in forever. I want some Danish pastries. I got an i7-8700K with a GTX 1070. What do you think I should be best to upgrade? GPU. Try to get your hands on that 3070 uh, if you can, or 3080. Again, 
I, I know, I think there's a ton of you in chat that are definitely like, like you're, you're all focused on it. You want the 30 series and I do not blame you, but it's going to be hard Let's get ready. Don't like, I don't want to get your hopes up. Let's get ready. Looking good, PJ. How's that? Look at that. Oh. I reduced PJ's gain so you didn't hear me twice. What? I reduced your gain. What do you guys think? Curvy, I'm not sure if you're in chat. I don't really don't blame you for leaving because I've been like techno babbling the entire stream. <laughs> Uh, but that is the system and don't if you people start making fun of the GPU I'm gonna come to your house and challenge you to some quake I've already mentioned it before um, We're probably gonna be talking uh, with curvy behind the scenes to work towards upgrading the GPU So Looks solid because again upgrading a GPU on a PC is easy unplug plug in plug in the power cable What are you doing, PJ? This first person cam is nuts. You made me a believer in white systems. It looks so clean. Aren't they though? It's really cool. I think I think like the white look looks really cool on PC builds. Um I'm not a fan of white shoes, for example, because shoes get dirty because they're on the ground. But PCs definitely uh look really cool. Five fans, what are the intake versus exhaust? PJ, feel free to point that out. My shoes get dirty, so you're not wrong. Yeah. What was the question? Uh, intake exhaust, because you have five fans on the case. Intake. Intake. Exhaust. There you go. Lifesteal Gaming asks, do you think it's going to be a challenge to pick up a 3090 launch? I plan on being there to spam by at midnight. Yes. Any of them. I'm telling you right now. I'm warning. I've seen GP launches in the past before. They will sell out. This is a fact. I'm t I'm warning you guys. I am, like, giving you the warning. I am, like, shaking you. I'm like, guys, they will sell out. Be careful. He's like the guy that stands outside with a sign that tells you the world's going to end. <laughs> and I was like, ah, nah, 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 I got to sell out. 3,000 series cards will sell out. I'm telling you guys, you guys don't understand. If you were in Twitch chat yesterday during the NVIDIA stream, that's how you know they'll sell out. <laughs> hey, what do you know? Good job. PJ is muted. Oh, can you guys not hear PJ? I can hear PJ. His mic's on. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, he muted me again because he says I'm annoying. No, he's good. Let me know if you guys can hear I can hear PJ, but if you guys can't hear PJ, please let me know. Where's the third fan in the front? It's a 240. So you can point that out, just showcase it. Because normally, he's right, the 220T case does come with three fans in the front, but PJ removed the fan because we have the radiator in the front of the case. And since I have to shift it forward, I have to shift the, uh, the bracket here. Oh, let me show you. Yeah. Since this has to be since this has to be shifted forward, a fan will fit here. Yeah. So there's a hard drive caddy or, br or bracket there. in the bottom right there. See where it drops down. There wouldn't be enough space to actually fit the third fan. PJ is so really quiet in the background. A drive, really? I to put it on the back over here. Then I would have completely eliminated this, and yeah, sure, I would have put a third fan. All right. I turned on PJ. I'm not saying that again. You don't like me today, Mr. Lewis. I man, it, something's wrong with the audio. That's better. Okay, people are saying that's better. Okay. We have a lack of communication. Oh, man. Calm down, bro. Bro. <laughs> that's a little better. Good. Lack okay. Communications. Crasher says, I bought a 10, 20 ATI a week ago. I'm not even bad. I'm going to get a 3070 when they are available and then put the 20 ATI in my nephew's PC when we build a one. There you go. Again, good luck. Those 3070s are going to be hard to come by. All right, I'm going to lower PJ's volume here. It sounds like we're hearing from another mic's pickup. You right. Oh, God, you're breathing, PJ. You're breathing. I'm going to lower him. Wait. All right, PJ's gone now. Oh, there you go. It's now silent. You can only hear my voice. I apologize for that. All right, he also turned off his mic.
hold that the supply demand for the new cards is going to be the issue that some people are going to be buying NVIDIA who aren't going to buy AMD GPs. I don't know. I think <laughs> demand is here, man. I've seen it. I've heard it. I see it right now. If you look at chat, the demand is insane. I know our sales team has been probably like this all the time. Like, oh, hello, hello, 33s, 30 series. So, whew. I, um, I wish them luck. Is the cooler missing a cap or the ring around it? I don't think it is. Wow. Someone says, that, no, I don't think it is. What? The cooler. What about it? The, the ring or cap? No, 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 you're fine. Never mind. I don't know what the question is. So I don't know either. You're answering it for me before I can answer. This is the live PC giveaway for no. So we um, hold on. All right. So let me. All right. Two minutes for questions, and then I'll wrap it up because PJ is done. Okay. Just got here. What are you guys working on? We just finished building a PC on stream. We built Curvy Llama a. The Llama 5000, if I'm correct. I don't know if for those of you in the Curvy Llamas community, if you can confirm that for me. Are you guys a PC? No, we did not build a PC for Asma Gold from... We have... I mean, no. Did he buy one? I don't know. Sorry. Top, top of my question. Uh, da, 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 da. Any news on the 30 Series TI? Nothing. It's only 3090, 3080, and 3070. I want 3080. <laughs> Given it's a guarantee the 30 series will sell out, how long do you think it will be before they get more stock? Also, do you think founder or third party is better? Depends who you ask. The cards are still going to be like the boards. I know there's a lot. Jay's has a really good video talk uh, discussing the difference between founder edition and uh, third party. If you want to go look that up, you can see his opinion on it. Um, personally, I think they're both fine. Um, here at Origin PC, we use both. We use Founder Edition and we use third party cards. Um, it depends what you like. If do you, if do you, actually, the question is do you like NVIDIA's method of cooling uh, the graphics card? Because you, if you size saw, there's a new intake and uh, outtake method they've created um, for thermals. If you like that, then get the, the Founder Edition. Or if you're okay with that cooling, because from what I've seen, the third parties are going with a more traditional style. Um, so it just, that's honestly the question, uh, preference. So, and sometimes there's reviews on cards too. Do, uh, what I need to upgrade my 650 power supply for 3080 card. Yes. Yes, you do. You need a 750 watt minimum. According to NVIDIA, I do not recommend going against NVIDIA's wishes. You probably could. I do not recommend it. None of us here recommend it. If NVIDIA says use 750, use 750. Da, 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 da. Do you think the idea of five? Blah, 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 blah. Eh. Uh, okay. Time. Curvy, are you here? <laughs> I think I scared her. Oh. I spent too much time talking. Oh, well. PJ's ready to go home. Um. She mentioned she had a headache. Oh, okay. I hope she gets better. It's probably me talking, man. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> PJ said it's because of me talking. I try, man. It's just a ton of you guys had a ton of questions, and uh, I was more than happy to answer them. And I know I completely get it. Um, what's the case? This is a Corsair 220T case. You can order a neuron with this case at originpc.com, or you can get the case at Corsair's website. Okay, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Um, let's talk about the specs one more time. I have the image ready to go. I feel like this stream is just literally questions and answers. Um, I hope you guys uh, appreciate the questions and answers. But here are the specs of the PC build. Do you know that the RAM is a 64 gigabyte kit? Um, and before you guys start flaming me about the GPU, again, I've said it multiple times during the stream. We're working behind the scenes with uh, Curvy and EVGA and all those sorts of stuff to upgraded to a 30 series card so don't worry it's a pretty solid build though i like it kind of similar to mine just a little bit uh the gpu and this G uh, cpu are better this guy? yeah yeah it's pretty similar to my build although i don't have the hard drive 
for my personal build, I want SSD storage only. Um, can you get that Corsair Curious? No, you have to order the complete system. That's the Kavit with OriginPC.com. We don't sell cases by themselves. If you want the case by itself, you have to go through Corsair's website. Will the custom cards from uh, be expensive than Founders, Founders Edition? Traditionally, they are. Usually by fifty or hundred dollars more. Um, and again, because demand is going to be so high, I expect the prices to be a little up there too. So I know Nvidia says that their uh, Founders Edition is going to be six ninety nine. It's a safe assumption to make that the third party cards available on the retail sites are probably going to be seven hundred fifty and up. Safe assumption. I'm talking about the thirty eighty as an example. So. Whew. Okay. What else do we got? Let's go over what's going on with Origin PC. So if you go to orangepc.com, you'll see that our Labor Day Labor my English today is just all over the place. The Labor Day sale is underway. You can get up to 320 in value with select systems. Our laptops especially are offering a killer deal with NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 or 2080 graphics cards. And then, of course, our desktops, you get free US ground shipping, free professional CPU overclocking with select Intel Core CPUs, and a bunch of digital games, including Blightbound, Avengers, Rainbow Six Siege, and more. You can learn more at orzpc.com slash promotion. We're currently running a giveaway with Intel celebrating Intel Gamer Days. Intel Gamer Days is currently underway. You can get an Intel Core powered origin pc you can get free overclocking but we're also doing this giveaway this is us only i'll be posting the link in chat hopefully it pops up youtube let me know if it doesn't pop up for you guys if not i'll post it for you guys no it, it popped up okay so it, it popped up for everyone uh you can see those uh giveaways on our twitter account by the way if you're curious but yeah this one actually ends on sunday so time's running out on this one our other giveaway we partnered with uh the PC Mastery subreddit, Corsair, Elgato, Scuff Gaming, and LG Ultra Gear for insane, insane Battle Station upgrade. Uh, you can sign for that one as well. I posted the link in chat. This one is international, by the way, this PC Master Race one. But it's only international in countries that allow giveaways. So if you're, for example, in Quebec, I apologize. Quebec does not allow international giveaways unless you register with their country. And we did not. So sorry, Quebec. I'm sorry. What else we got? Um, nothing else, unless you guys want to see Shadowland specs. Whoa, look at the Shadowland specs, bro. Just kidding. Let's go back. TJ adjusts the camera. There is the final complete system. Uh, Curvy, I hope you're, you feel better. Headaches are no fun. Um, I know I've been drinking my water. Sometimes I get dehydration headaches because I don't drink water, so I try to stay hydrated. Um, all right, I'll do a quick last second answer session. I'll give you guys one minute and then I'll close the stream. I've never owned or built a PC before. Should I buy entry level components or save it for better parts? I would go for, save it for better parts. It's your first PC build. Um, this is an interesting time as a PC uh, user. New GPUs are just coming out. If you can get your hands on the new GPU, by all means, I would try to save for better parts. Um, uh, that, should I feel bad for winning the giveaway PC event and winning a giveaway for a friend who wants a PC? I wouldn't. How much do you think the EVGA 3080 Hydro Copper will be? If you look at the way they've priced their previous, you could try to estimate it, but I can't estimate right now. I, I don't know what the 2080 Hydro Copper co or cost. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Uh, don't let Quebec hear you call it a country. Rest of Canada. I called it a territory. Sorry. I just got here. It looks great, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. I know a lot of people are here from Curvy Llamas community, so I am glad you guys came and watched and stayed and just tuned in. Um, I hope that she enjoys the PC. Uh, if you guys do see her in chat later, if she does jump on stream today, um, if not, just let her know that those of us here at Origin PC wish her well, and we hope she feels better. And we're looking forward to getting her PC soon enough. It's a province, not a territory. <laughs> Everyone always mentions the Quebec stuff, man. I'm so sad. I'm getting corrected. 
Hello from Greenland. The PC looked great. Hey. Thank you. Uh, Ronnie, um, are you referring to the graphics cards? Yeah, I'm also surprised at the prices for the graphics card, if you're wondering about that. Um, have a great day. Gotta head out. I gotta head out, too. We gotta... Also, a little shout-out to our uh, our boy, Quentin. Bye, everybody. Bye, uh, Quentin. Bye, Quentin. Quentin, thank you so much for being a part of the Origin PC team, and we wish you the best. I know he was previously here for our Neverwinter stream that we did a couple of uh, months ago. And uh, so thank you for all your hard work, Quentin, and best of luck for the future. Chad, if you want to give some uh, claps for our boy, Quentin, by all means, do so. And that's it for me. I, we might have a stream on Friday for Marvel's Avengers. We will see. PJ's waving by at the camera. Um, just stay tuned. Stay tuned to our social if we do have one or not. We're working behind the scenes to see if we can get one going. Um, Trey Metal, appreciate that. Thank you for answering all the questions. I did my best. I hope I, if I did miss your question, just post in Discord. Uh, try my best to answer it. Bye, everyone. I will see you guys next time. Bye.